Wait. You have never heard Joe Shelley. Wait, wait, all right, God damn it. Wait, no, wait a Joe minute. Joe Shelley. Turn this fucking mic. Oh, the mic is on. Uh, it fucks. It's, it's, it's Joe Shallow. I mean, you have your moments. When? Sometimes. When? Give me one example of Joe being shallow ever. When you're in that pool. <laughs> it was shallow. That was definitely very shallow. It's definitely water. shallow waters. I'm not sure if your swimming game is up to par, but you know what I mean? <laughs> but you, but your sitting Indian style in the pool game is all right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with y'all? Um, Everybody good, huh? Yeah, we chilling. All right, good. Is my phone ringing? Right Uh, I'm I'm doing my podcast, mom. <laughs> hey, Miss Faye. I'll call you later. Bye. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Hi, mom. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday. Hold on, let me hit the air horn out this bitch. Let them know we real. Oh, yeah. Look at everybody texting Bay. I love when the song sets the mood, I really, huh? I really, I really was. Uh, 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 <laughs> Parks want to shoot out a little, a little Baytex. A couple hard emojis, you know what I mean? Damn, how does a, a Parks My. Baytex start? <laughs> That's a valid question. Hey! It's definitely something like a Method Man, You're All I Need lyric. <laughs> Maul, what are you texting? You were texting Bay? No. I wasn't texting anybody. <laughs> You, can you talk to the microphone? I wasn't texting anybody. How does a mall bay text start? Ma. Hey, yo, you ma. still you still use ma, right? <laughs> Tell the truth. You're the last Mohican with ma. <laughs> My ma's still appropriate every Hold up the hook, the hook, the hook. Hey! <laughs> Come on, you guys got to say something so we meet all the... Uh, Fair use, fair use laws. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you guys? That's why you throw the gunshots and the drops. Yeah, gunshots are saying something. Oh. Hmm. That's nice, man. No, 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 Joe Biden. No, Wally and Ma. Were you guys, were you guys outside when Monica dropped that that heat rock? I think heat yeah. rock was the slang back then. Uh. <laughs> Heat rock. That song, that record? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah it's Re- young, young as shit though. I know, Riri left me. That's one. <laughs> Who had left you? Riri. Who was Riri? There's only uh, one Riri. My, my first girlfriend. You did. Wow, I, you dated Rihanna in that's the early nineties? Well, that no, was on that, that shit would be early. Nasty a little bit. No, I only no, I only mentioned it that way because I mentioned it on the podcast before. Oh, okay. That's well, shout out to Riri. I hope she's doing well. Why would you hope she's doing well? She left me. I know. I, <laughs> the fuck is, she's smart. She's probably doing well. Yeah, I'm she sure was. she's doing great. You know what's funny? I got great funny Rory jokes that I can never tell now because I love Sam. <laughs> <laughs> like that, That's corny. I could have shot back at that nigga. <laughs> anyway, um, welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast, episode 187, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yep. I'm doing pretty good with this shit. I'm your host, Joe Budden, here with some We're of my nearest. No one has like a really bad murder joke. For 187? Never mind. We'll continue on. Oh, damn. You should have started off with some... <laughs> <laughs> Thought maybe we're killing the podcast game was next. Should have started oh, off my. Some that is nasty. Rory, get out. Yeah. <laughs> that, what, did he just say 187? We're killing the fucking pod, podcast game? And I just said get out. <laughs> That's like when Biggie put that verse on uh, the Supercat song. Do y'all remember that song? I do remember Wasn't that, that the yeah. first Biggie feature? Did y'all like that feature? <laughs> uh, I thought him on Mary was the first. Feature. No, he was on that Supercat Super, song. Yeah, it was pretty first. Random. It was a little That's a random first me. feature. <laughs> no, oh. reggae was the shit, right? and that was Back Brooklyn then. and, yeah. and Supercat. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. get it. I'm on Revolt, so I'm shutting up. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, what was I saying just now before that? Nothing. Uh, we were saying <laughs> introducing the episode. <laughs> wasn't about, much going on This is about to be One of those podcasts I can tell I can tell already Okay Yo your train of thought Is terrible <laughs> I just want you to know that But go ahead Back to introducing the show Would you like to start By letting the uh, Viewership and listenership Know why our podcast Was four to five hours Late on a Yeah so they They could know that day? Next time if that happens Again stop threatening Mall. Talent Stop threatening <laughs> <laughs> Maul I, does not upload the episodes. Yeah, Leave him you. alone. Just stop threatening me. Is that why you wanted to, to make yes. this announcement? Because you were getting threats? I don't want to get threats anymore, yes. I don't want hate mail. 
Nigga, I know y'all got protection in that trap house over there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that was a good one. Come on, uh, what, what, what do we want to what do we want to start with? All right, so we were late the other day because there were there was a coding issue. Now. That's the extent of my knowledge. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's all. That's all. Because the labels are coming down on us. Yeah, I don't know they don't want it. us playing the music. <laughs> it's always the labels, man. Blame the label. Word. I'm blaming the labels, labels even when it's not there. Well, why are we blaming the label right now? Because that's like the, the cool thing to do in hip hop. Yeah. It's like blame yeah. labels. Like whenever anything goes wrong, we just blame a label. That's how rappers get around shit. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm in. We had to clear a sample. <laughs> I'm blaming labels for everything. It was a coding issue. None of us here know shit about what that means or how that affects coding anything. But uh, it got <laughs> fixed. It got fixed, and more importantly, I was assured that it would not happen again. So, round of applause for me being assured of something. Of something we know nothing about. And round of applause. <laughs> they assured us the data would make it. Yeah, it's good to assure someone. When yeah. they, round of applause for this, all deleted for this episode being late. <laughs> Because no, this won't be late. This will be late. Um, where, where, where would you gentlemen like to begin? I've had enough of your fucking chit chat about nothing. Where would you like to start? A lot has occurred. Yes. Yes. S- sort of. What happened? I missed something. A lot has occurred. What occurred, Ma? Break it down. Just, just roll with the shit. Man. <laughs> I don't pay attention. To so much to discuss. Well, a lot of new music drop. Should we start with new music? I think we can. Saturday. That's true. Joe, uh, I know is a big fan of the Honcho album. Huncho, Huncho, Huncho. Only heard like three songs, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I skimmed through it. 19 songs. It's a lot of songs. Yeah. My attention span is short with music these There's days. There's a lot of flutes on there too. There's only you know why flutes. I'm whack? Because I was mad at the seventh song thing, but I'm also mad at 19 <laughs> songs too. Let's just find a happy like 11. 12. Yeah. 11, 12 is a good medium. Yeah, like 19, it's like fan. Y'all wasn't in the studio that happy. <laughs> Your whole crew didn't like all if you, 19. If 19 is, is on the album, that means you recorded 45. How many songs do you want on an album? I'm cool with like 10, 11. Just give me like 50 minutes. Yeah. 10, 11. I'm whatever, cool. whatever 50 minutes lands at. That's the most I can attend attention span. I mean, how many great albums are past 15 songs? Some Love Lost. Was, Outs- how long was Some of, Love Lost? Uh, t- double more than obviously. a three hours. <laughs> it was not. It was only like six songs. It was six songs, but it was three <laughs> it, hours long. I think long. it definitely was 45 to 50 minutes. Hell fucking no. That shit no. was like 72 minutes long. Really? I'm, I'm, I, we had to like the last song was nine of, minutes. Yeah, we had to trim shit. <laughs> yeah, to only make it human fit on itself the CD. is. What you talking about? The CD like still mattered. We true, to, like, true, true. Because Joe will let a guitar play for seven minutes. <laughs> Joe was only nigga in hip hop to let a rock guitar play for long. seven minutes. I don't know why more artists don't don't do that. <laughs> all of all go. of Lost is an hour and eighteen minutes with thirteen uh, songs. I told you, and the thirteenth doesn't even count. We weren't talking about that album at all. Oh, some. I thought you said all. I'm sorry. No, some love lost. Oh, some love lost. Oh, some. Oh, see, love we were all. I was talking about that's one of your better projects. Oh, okay. Some love really lost. Proud right? of that project. Me too. Yeah. I am. I played it the other day. Did you? Yeah, I did. A lot. I, I don't listen to my shit after it comes out. Anything I worked on, and I listened to that not long ago. I was like, kind of did that. Which one was some nah, love we lost? killed that, that shit. Uh, I was, was about to kill myself. And it's the fucking, EP shit between right. Uh, 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 poker in the sky and that's yeah, some love different lost. love. Okay. Gotcha. Alive. Uh. We performed a lot of that shit too. A lot of that shit, even that. And that was fact. a good project. Yeah. All right, I don't give a fuck about that. All right, come on. What are we? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about that on a Friday night. <laughs> all right, Friday night. But listen, y'all started this shit mad dry eight minutes in. Uh, all right, that was a great eight minutes, I think. And that's why you don't get paid to think. I do get paid to think, actually. How do you know what you get paid to do? Because <laughs> I get paid. Doing what? To think about what? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> Everything. Have. have all right, so what do you think about the new honcho? I told you I only heard like three records, so I didn't I can't really give, you know, too much of a All right, nobody. I'm I'm a I'm a Qua- Quavius fan. It was a little dull for me. It, it took me a lot to get through all those. There was songs. a lot of flutes. I feel it like they just, turned was, down was beats because there wasn't enough flutes in them. I don't think that was Quavo's best effort to be quite honest. You know what? Quavo I, I think he's 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 going to have to be careful with uh the solo the solo effort. Because I think that's gonna, uh, you know, like, cause I'm, I'm, I'm honestly seeing a lot of people are not happy with, with the album. I'm seeing that. Like I, I saw that. a few people saying they were deleting it from their iTunes. They wasn't listening to it again. Twitter and I'm like, damn. And yeah. and you know, Migos are so big. I would think that once Quavo breaks and goes solo, it would be like people would really be into yeah. it. So he's gonna have to be careful a little bit. Like Twitter tends to side with Migos about everything. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah. that's why it shocked me to see the backlash on this. Because yeah. they was calling him Beyonce yesterday. Yeah. So I, I was thrown back when <laughs> Twitter or anything the Migos does, they applaud. And I don't and I'm not one of those people that likes to just, you know, base it off of especially since I didn't hear it. So I can't really give my you know, opinion on it, but I don't like to base it off of what the internet is saying about it. Right. Like, I like to listen to it myself and then kind of live with it, but I'm seeing, like, a lot of people that really like him say that. So right. that's when it's like, oh, shit. Like, I usually kind of like shit that the internet doesn't like. Like, when mm-hmm. the internet shits on him, you're like, oh, I actually kind of like that. Yeah. But I think it was just too many songs. For why, me. why are all you guys hating? Are we hating? <laughs> Call us Joe Budden. That's true. I just trade the gang. Yeah, you're hating. Oh, I didn't think. One honcho. I, I, I didn't think that was hating. Well, which three records you did you hear? Trying to get hear? back in the graces of QC. Uh, the graces. <laughs> well, is it Picture the one, me one yeah, to one be one in somebody's uh, graces. All right, so you don't have you. You didn't have to have heard the entire album. Did you hear track three? Yes. Parks, did you hear track three? I believe so. Rory, did you hear track three? I did. Now, track three on Nikki's album was. Barbie Dreams. Correct. And track three on this album is Honcho Dreams. Correct. Long pause because I want to share that I do like the alias Honcho. I'm not calling my man's Honcho. No? Nah. What if he's the Honcho? I'm cool. That's a hard name. I like it. (laughs) I like it. No, I know you was jamming when I walked in. Relax. Okay. Relax. You ever... uh, have you ever had a friend with an alias that you wouldn't call him? I don't think so. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yes, you did. That laugh. <laughs> just the way you laughed. Yeah, the laugh gave <laughs> the, it away, the bro. The thought of that is just funny. Like, your man got an alias. You like, nah, I'm not calling you. Nah, you good, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, nah. Yeah, that never happened. But a few times on the block when niggas was trying to create their rap names, it was like, all right, nah. <laughs> yeah. <that's another laughs> Even that, that you won't call them, like, dudes that just give themselves a nickname. Yeah. Like, I'm not calling you that, which yeah, no. you want to be called. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, not doing that. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I yeah. have a fan. You niggas, can't make up a nigga. You can't just come themselves. outside one day and be T-Bone. <laughs> 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 nigga, your name is Terrence. Yeah, you were, your name is Tyler, bro. Yeah, yeah, but that's what we were calling you on the block. Yeah, T-bone. what did you do to get the T-Bone? Yeah, like, nigga, calling you no fucking T-Bone. T-bone. Oh, that was the good old days when your name had to like really come from something. Yeah, like right. now it's just in the your bio. And it's give you the nickname. Whatever right. your Twitter name is, that's what you, who you are yeah. now. I hate that. That's trash. That's corny. <laughs> These new niggas got it easy. Because Twitter's the new outside. See? Twitter's, Twitter's the new outside. Twitter's that not the new outside. No, it's not. I'm fighting it that. It is. It's not. Niggas don't be outside no more. You don't see people just hanging out like on their blocks in their neighborhoods no more. I do feel safer that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not mad at it. I'd be home chilling. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad Home at chilling it. is dope. Home chilling yeah. is always dope. Yeah. Nah. Always. Rarely can things go wrong always. with home chilling. N- no, there's a age, there's a there's an age gap where home chilling ain't really the move. You want to be out. Yeah, when you're in your twenties, you want to be yeah, out. Yeah, you want to be out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but yeah. but even now, like sometimes I want to be out, but it's like you once old I get and out, washed like me, more almost I, no, old. I wouldn't say I'm washed, but it's like I, myself. The thing is, <laughs> when you go out now, most of the times, like once you're there for like twenty minutes, you be like, okay, this is why I don't go out. Yeah, like you think that in twenty minutes tops, you like. Yeah, this but is I've, I've picked up, I've been out enough to know when I hear something, I know I'm not gonna like that, so I don't get in those situations very much anymore. Yeah, if I know the music's gonna be trash, if I know there's people that I don't like, if drunk, annoying people are gonna be there, mm-hmm. I'm just not gonna go. That's why we don't even really hit them with R and B that much. Yeah, you can't hit them with R and B. But you know, but 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 it's funny because my one of my uh my peoples that owned a few clubs in Manhattan, he was saying now that he just owns bars. And he said he's making way more money just owning yeah, I mean, bars. I mean, bars the are way the more fun. Club, club is dead in New York. Yeah, and then yeah. he ever made owning some People of the best clubs in, in New York history. He was like, he's way, making way more money. And I was like, I thought about that. And I was like, that's interesting. Because this is the dude that owned, you know, Room Service, Rock Candy, Griffin. like, And he's like, he's making more money yeah. now owning bars. Well, cause well that, think, think about when y'all was coming up, how many clubs there were and each club had a night. Like, that's dead. That don't happen no yeah. more. Yeah. So you know what I learned this morning? It's funny y'all, y'all mentioned this. I don't know how I ended up talking to whoever I was talking to on, in Edgewater. And I learned that there's a limit on the amount of liquor licenses that oh, yeah. each 
Township for sure. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. even give Absolutely. out. It's hard to yeah. get a liquor so license. So Edgewater has been out of their liquor licenses for like a long, long time. Same with New York. So so I was asking. I said, okay, well, then how do I get a, how how does somebody get a liquor license? And they said, well, that's where they become valuable <laughs> because yeah. once they're gone. <laughs> They're so, gone. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah, no, to find those. you have yeah. to find somebody who's willing to sell you their shit. I'm like, all right, and how much? He's like, well, whatever they say. Yeah. Right. I a said, lot. so so <laughs> they could just charge me five million dollars. Yeah. And they said, if you want that liquor license bad enough, you're gonna have to pay for it. Yeah, yep. that's a fact. I wasn't. I was blown away by that for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I I thought there was some type of big conspiracy. I said, well, wait a minute. Why are they holding on? Well, that's why. So and they said, well, we don't want everybody. Just drinking. That's why, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's a safety issue there. Yeah, and I said, damn, that makes all the sense in the world. Well, that's why yeah. there's so many uh, BYOB smaller restaurants and shit like that because you don't yeah. need a liquor license to do BYOB. Mm-hmm. But there not, has to be a lot of benefit to having that liquor license. Selling. Oh, for sure. Well, yeah. You sell liquor. Liquor's got a higher profit margin. I love margin BYOB because I can go to the liquor store and pay, you know, 20 bucks and be good. That would cost me $200. I had a place with a liquor license. More I, got, I, I gotta get a liquor license somewhere. <laughs> Just in the crib. Just for the crib. <laughs> <laughs> charge charge people. I want crib. a liquor license in his kitchen. <laughs> no, I don't want a liquor license in the crib. Yo, if I come to the crib and you charge me five hundred dollars for a bottle, bro. <laughs> Please, niggas don't pay for shit in my crib. Rory, come drink everything, leave. I just bought you two bottles to add to that bar at, fin- at your spot. F- Finessa, bring a bottle to the crib and leave with the remainder of the bottle. Oh, no, that's foul. That's foul. Like, yeah. do you know that's yeah, rude? When you, leave, that's rude. <laughs> when you bring something, it's a, special it place, it's a special place in hell for them type of people. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, bring the bottle and take, take it, it with them. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's, that's crazy. That's, yeah. Man, the party don't, ain't over when you leave, my Jesus, because you got to bounce. Especially like, if they don't announce it. Like, yeah. if at least you're like, yo, I got to go make this move. That, you brought that I don't care if you in. announce it or not. Once you bring that bottle in it's my here. space, yeah, it's, it's here. here. It's it's mine. Mine. Yeah. No, but the if you announce it, I'll judge you to your face. Sure. Yeah, exactly. I'm still judging. If you sneak out the bottle that you brought exactly. to my house, my I'm, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm setting it this on is going to be a way nastier yeah. judge. Next time yeah. I see you, I'm, I'm, I might, we might have like some real serious words. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> I said something to that nigga next time I see him. He looked at me like I was crazy. I said, yo, where did you took that bottle? He's like, yeah, you, you, y'all was done. Y'all was done. <laughs> y'all was done. Yo, don't ever tell yeah. my party when I they're mean, done. I don't, like, I don't even like people that come empty handed to the yeah. party. I don't mind that. It depends on the situation. It depends on where I, you live. I always try to contribute, even if it's like a six pack. I agree, I, but I want to contribute. I've definitely gone to someone's house where they were like somewhere. <laughs> Rory, <where it's> not. <laughs> Rory definitely looks like the type that is show with the six pack. As soon as you open the door, he holds it up like, yo. <laughs> That's because Rory Rory travels <laughs> with a six pack everywhere, <laughs> like girls fact. with the overnight bag. Well, Rory got ten six packs overnight. Yeah. Yeah. you see, you seen that commercial with uh, Stefan Diggs where everything is sticking to his hand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rory definitely has six packs stuck to his head everywhere <laughs> yeah. he fucking goes. He's Irish. For he sure. ain't bringing that because he's so fucking hospitable. What, what the right. fuck are you talking about? He bring that for a show. <laughs> yeah. And Rory the type to bring the six pack and like tuck two on the on the walk. Oh, you like, got to tuck, yeah, nah, I'm not. And Wait, drink the other the, four after he put them incomplete? in the fridge. I'm with the incomplete six pack? <laughs> for sure. No, you no, put the no, complete. You come in with, you, it's come complete. In with, you come in with no. the six. <laughs> but you, that, you're knocking down four. You consume no, four. That's smart. that's smart, though. He cons- gonna... he the nigga that consumed four and offered the other two. Like he be yo yo what? Like, After he drunk. Like, <laughs> he drunk <laughs> over the last two. Is this supposed to be an insult? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I completely. I think it's a great strategy. I'm with you with hiding a couple just in case. Have to. You know what's funny about That's this smart. conversation? And, like, and also, you got to bring sometimes some shit you drink and other people don't drink. Like, I know <laughs> people sure. at Joe's crib are not usually beer drinkers. Right. I'm a beer drinker. Right. So I know if I bring the Coronas... I'm bringing Budweiser. Ain't no way drinking no Budweiser. Yeah, no one's touching the Buds. <laughs> y'all are nasty. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all party etiquette is crazy. <laughs> nah, I just brought a bottle Remember of wine ice came, to Joe's crib last week. Remember Ice came and brought like 700 off-brand bottles yes. of beer and just oh put them in the God. fridge? Yo, they Peanut butter they're stouts probably and still shit. In that, they're probably still Peanut in Peanut butter stout. Yeah, that's a nasty stout. <laughs> they haven't been in your fridge for two years. It was like peanut butter, blueberry. Ice is, na- yo, ice is nasty. Yo, you man. know how those were nasty. I'm an alcoholic. Right. Like I'll find the whatever's in the corner if I really want to drink. For sure. I would never touch, even think about opening any of that shit that ice brought. <laughs> First of <laughs> that all, that shit was gross. Yeah. Get them fucking. Listen, let the beer look like beer, all right? Don't have your little cute root beer bottle can looking things. <laughs> <laughs> like anytime the beer look like root beer, I don't trust it. Get it out of here. All that no, shit is right. some shit. Some company sent ice. Yeah. The promo. And he sent it to my fridge. Yeah, he dropped it off for y'all. <laughs> took the, took Yo, I brought some. There. That's I, just fucking I brought all the beer I would never drink. <laughs> all right, back to that conversation, because I like where we were going with that. I never bring shit to be wild. <laughs> 
You bring wine here. Do you go to people's houses? I do bring wine here. Yeah. You don't. It's a nice move. It's a you don't really go nowhere, though. That's true. Yeah, I know whose crib you go to. And it depends on where the crib is. Because if you live somewhere too far away from a store, you could not bring things, I think. Like if you nah, live usually, in the middle of you, nowhere, Jersey. I usually go to nah, that's when you gotta bring shit. Uber like if there. you or it's like yo, who on their way? Yeah. Then it's like yo, call them and tell them to bring. Like if we in the middle of nowhere, like whoever is in route, yo, stop somewhere and grab something. Yo, you know who's like, underrated? That's how I go. The guy that brings ice. That's true. That guy's underrated. That's true. There's never enough. He ice. needs to be appreciated a bit more. I think the guy that leaves the vibe to go get the ice needs to be appreciated. That's true too. No, that's a friend. That's a super friend. Yeah, he's that's real. a real friend. The guy that yeah. scouts the scouts the bar and see was low and just dip out and run yeah. to the store and come back. Yeah, yeah. I don't have no friends like that. Nah. <laughs> or a, or the guy that thinks ahead and doesn't only just bring the Jameson for like he'll bring some bullshit pink Moscato because he knows some chick <laughs> some chicks you know they not they want to drink the Jameson. Yeah, right. you gotta bring they some white wines. They want to be cute on Instagram with the Moscato. <laughs> yeah, you gotta bring some white wines for the ladies. Have to yeah. for sure for the ladies. <laughs> for the ladies. Because <laughs> I'm always thinking about catering to. I never care about what the guys are drinking. You right. I could care less. When so. does Maul cater to the ladies? <laughs> I, always cater, I always cater to the ladies. Wait, always. All right, what does always mean? Anytime there's an event, all I'm catering to is the ladies. Pool party, house party. Swimming lesson. Tell Whatever. me, tell me how you cater to the ladies. <laughs> I always make sure the ladies that are in the room are they're good, they're taken care of. That's a good. That's also a good friend, a valuable friend in the party circle. Always, I'm always that person. Also, also a creepy friend. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not a. Creepy Why is he following friend? me? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm definitely. I'm definitely not following. Yeah, who's anybody. that guy? No, I'm not following anybody. Yeah, no. Who's Jamil? <laughs> no, I'm not following anybody. But I definitely make sure the fellas on here, y'all figure it out. That's true. The ladies, y'all good? All right, cool. Speaking, yeah. speaking of catering to you, can we just admit that women are completely full of shit because they don't <laughs> live any Beyonce lyrics that they love? When it, a chick knows every lyric to cater to you but has never acted it out. A chick knows every lyric to cater to you and don't have no Darion jeans in her, in her wardrobe. <laughs> Oh, so I'm the only nigga that noticed that? All right, cool. Yo, Y'all leave me out there to take boy, the whole so okay? Boy, we are stupid on Saturdays. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, ladies love Beyonce, but they never show up to the on-the-run tour in Darion. You think You think when Beyonce is, like, maybe lacking, Hove might just throw on Cater to You, like, in the crib? Like, oh, yeah, shit, I, my bad, I don't it was wanna, on shuffle. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about nothing, nothing, nothing in their crib. <laughs> Rory about to lose this whole little Tuesday <laughs> <Deuce> deal. <Yeah. laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool on that. Hey, no edit, nigga. <laughs> edit point. No edit, nigga. No edit on that. Uh, all right, no. Back to back to whatever. Party <laughs> etiquette. Who's on party etiquette? No, somehow in the all conversation, I don't, I don't know how I got here, but I was I was on birthdays. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> I, get, I don't know how I got to right birthdays. To I, I don't know how I got there, but. Because in our group, we don't really acknowledge birthdays. <laughs> like No, the most we do is we say, fuck your birthday. Is that normal? Like a day later. That's not normal, I think right? it's really funny that, like, as men, we just shit None of on us birthday. particularly You care, can't though. say happy birthday. We're not a group of, like, birthday lovers. We'll all be throwing the big earth in there, like, Joe and Ice, everybody's, fuck your birthday. Like, no one I, says I happy birthday, I don't even birthday, say man. shit. Sometimes <laughs> yeah, I just skip it. Yeah, like, I skip it. Yeah. Y'all was saying, fuck Johnny birthday. I was just eating breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga ain't even say nothing. Damn, my man Gunplay can't even get... Nigga ain't say nothing about Johnny. Yeah, he can't even get hate. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ready to put the phone hate. back down. Like, like, nigga, my grit's getting yeah. cold, man. Fuck his extra year of life. Birthday. Happy birthday, Johnny. <laughs> that, that's Bad fun. months late. No, but this is why that's funny. Because we do that, right? Some, and that's how our guy group of friends just moves. Yeah. Somehow... My, our girl group of friends every year I fight with them about that same thing about yeah, not birthday. knowing their birthday mm. Mm. do y'all just know birthdays <laughs> I started saving them in my phone with the contacts so that it, like for uh, people that matters oh you're one of those yeah cause I'll forget their, ver- their birthday it'll give that. me like a little reminder but why don't I have to remember somebody's birthday like be- uh, well, it's just, it's why don't I have to write something in my phone for your birthday I'm talking that, about like a cousin or yeah no but they look at it like if we're really friends you should know my birthday right that's how people Fam, look at it. Are you alive? Nah, you gotta remind, you gotta I remind me. I'm ter- I, let, I let people know from the gate, I'm terrible at birthdays. I don't remember any birthdays. Yeah. And sometimes you just miss it. Like, I was traveling, I missed my dad's birthday. I felt like shit, because I realized like a week later, I was like, fuck, my dad's birthday, birthday was Birthdays, Christmas, a week ago. all that shit is for kids, man. It's for yeah. kids. Yeah. As adults, it's just another day. Right. Yeah, like, people don't even take their birthday off. <laughs> when I was working, I never took my birthday off. 
Would you be mad if heaven or, and hell was just like myths, like Santa Claus? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, not hell. <laughs> if we was all chilling in heaven, that'd be great. I think they're, uh, I think they're uh, metaphorical, heaven and hell. I think it's how you're remembered. Hmm. The fuck Wait, so there's no about? heaven or hell? Yeah, I think it's how people remember you. Wait, so you just think that's it? Yeah. In my after- Once we die, we die? I think it's over here. <laughs> that's such a mor- how do you live, Pops? That's such a morbid way to live. <laughs> yeah, this thing is a morbid shit. fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wait, it's over. Tell us more about this. Wait, so you think no, all the us, energy we have in our bodies Why? just dies? I think it out. Well, no, sick shit in his head. Get the fuck out. No, I, I want to hear that's it. Sick. I think it's just it, it, it's over. And I think that heaven and hell is like how people remember you. And I think that reincarnation is a thing because it's actually a thing. Like when you die, you decompose. The worms eat you. You're put back into the universe. That's a real thing. The worms. Nah, nigga just, that. I'm gonna nigga just run up the worms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you got it. <laughs> I'm gonna put bug spray all over all right. my coffin. Not letting no bugs. Wait, hold up. Well, regardless, you're hold gonna up. decompose into the earth at some point. And nah, fuck that. Back, you're gonna turn into a tree. That's reincarnation. <laughs> yeah, because I was watching. Listen, I turned on this. What that stupid show on Netflix? I came on this podcast about yeah man this is this show on Netflix uh, Maniac I really want to check it out oh, and oh, I, I ran it. and I ran home to start Maniac I it. and <laughs> I cut that shit off immediately I got halfway through the first episode and I was like I'm good when yeah, he was I, on Randall's yeah. Island chilling I was yeah, like I'm not, I'm I, not I did this. one and a half episodes I was like I'm, I, I asked Twitter I was like does this get better and everybody was like no but the intro where they was like the plants and the trees is how everybody is here foot on earth because you are unable to breathe without the things being salt soiled in the ground and I was like whoa like knowledge. Yo, speaking, <laughs> yo, when what's his name gets in his serious bag, it's funny. What's his uh, Jonah Hill? Yeah. Yeah. Because he has the same face. You Anytime he does a serious. straight roll, he has the same face. I was confused, but why do they have old ass TVs in the future? <laughs> I was trying to figure that out too. <laughs> like, I was lost, man. But in Black Mirror they do that a lot too. Yeah. It'd be like old shit in the future. It's like flying cars, but they Volvos. Yo, y'all remember y'all, y'all remember when the internet when the internet when the Pac movie came out and they niggas was talking about the Pac movie and they said, yo, there's an iPhone in the Pac movie. Y'all don't remember that? No, yes. I, yeah, I, no, I, I was so pissed. I was like, no, nah, I was looking for the iPhone the entire movie and it never happened. I was Wait, like, yo, do you Twitter remember the CLC so movie? And they had all the Ciroc lined up oh, yeah. at the club. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> in 94 that is hilarious they couldn't find no hypnotic <laughs> that's crazy the funny shit is where are the Jetsons what, what? Where, where are the Jetsons <laughs> like you they were a cartoon cartoon heaven or hell I know but Does now exist? <laughs> the worms got listen I've been watching <laughs> those docs I'll tell you I've been watching those Earth docs Jim on got the 90s and the 2000s yo that I mean, 90s shit was super fire by the way thank you Thank you, Parks. Yo, that shit Thank- had me fucking bogged <laughs> out. Like, that's it's amazing. It's crazy that we're at the age. Like, it never, it never really dawned on me. That, that's like, what I'm saying. Like, I, I often think about like what we've seen in our life, but like, I remember AOL before it was the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they in- introduced the World Wide Web. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? As opposed to just the internet. Mm-hmm. That shit was fucked Fam, up. Fam, them showing them lines of people going to up. pick up the Windows, Windows 95. I remember well, that. <laughs> like. Going to the store for an update? <laughs> yes. oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Don't that sound ridiculous right now? I don't even do the update and it's front in front of my face. <laughs> Word, I, I ignore it. Yeah, that I little red I, one be pissing me off. <laughs> nigga, I hit remind me late on my phone seventy times already about that upgrade on my phone. That was a great uh. That shit was incredible. So then I learned that there was a uh, a eighties one. A word by the same people. Okay. Okay. So I started watching that. Is this on Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. Watch that shit. What is that shit? It's crazy. The uh, the nineties. The nineties. Called the nineties. And then the okay, other one the is the eighties. They do TV and then they do music. What's the seventies called? And politics. Politics. Yeah, they do politics. Then there is a seventies. Is it really? That's the one I haven't I haven't seen it all yet. But I watch that. I'm getting to that too. They body them shits. Yeah, that nineties was crazy. I gotta watch all of them. It was really good. Um. I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. Well, we were initially talking about the Nikki record. <laughs> All right, Huncho. All right, let's let's get back to Huncho. I don't know how the fuck we're going. I see why people love this show now. I, get it. Yo, let's, I totally get it because everybody does this. Everybody yeah. just thoughts just run all over the place and then they're like, how the fuck do we get to this? So this is great. So back to the fucking record. Huncho. Huncho. Your man. I really appreciate the, 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 the Quavo, a Quavo diss record. I do. Mm-hmm. Was I was talking diss? about that. Yes, he's dissing Nikki. Okay. Explain. Oh, man, you know, you're right. 
Are you right. saying he said well, I he's, still he's, beat though? He's he's outing. Diss? He's outing things. Oh. So it's not a diss. He's exposing. He's not. It's not a diss. He's exposing things, which. Same shit to me. It's great. Yeah. I'm sure she didn't want it exposed. He's taking his disrespect, yeah. He said, I skied it on your face. Mm-hmm. That's disrespectful. Is yeah, it? it is. Uh, well, let, 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 guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you. It's Thank disrespectful. you. It's disrespectful. Thank you. Thank you. It's disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Not really. no, just... Don't look at me to <laughs> keep the party going. <laughs> it's very disrespectful. Uh, no, I was saying before, before you got here, Maul, that when they put out that uh, ice tray, whatever record that was, dissing me. Don't say whatever. You know what record it was. You know the words. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't say, oh, whatever that record. No, you know the record. <laughs> ice tray, right? Yep. Not ice tray, whatever. It's called ice tray. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Not ice tray, whatever. Yeah, that little you, shit. Who'd you jump for a new dare shirt, by the way? Pardon? Which, which one of your little cousins you Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep kids off drugs. <laughs> what? Oh, you got a dare shirt on. Yeah. Which one? Where you got it from? I never want to hear Rory deny this hipster shit again. <laughs> <laughs> can we? Can we agree? Please. I've can we? Can we put that in the back? Didn't I agree at the top of the year? I said I just gave in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, did. Whatever. Oh, he did agree. He did All right. agree. I forgot. Yeah. All right. Uh, Wait. So you're saying you don't want to keep kids off drugs? Is what you're trying to say? <laughs> don't on, do drugs, on record, kids. you want kids to indulge. No, don't do drugs. In illegal substances. No, I want kids not to wear that t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I know niggas that was wearing that shirt while they, while was, they was high. high. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be the wave, though. Yeah. Yeah. Did any of y'all go to Scared Straight? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I wasn't that bad. Wait, no, I, I wasn't that bad. It wasn't Scared Straight. Was it called Scared We We definitely took a trip to Rikers Island, though. In elementary school No That was just That right. was a field trip <laughs> <laughs> no, That wasn't a field trip That's a Bronx field trip yeah. no, That wasn't, that that wasn't was a field trip That was a regular <laughs> nah, Class was a trip niggas, yeah. I don't know if it was Scored scared straight But niggas was We was scared Niggas was quiet on the bus Going back to the school We were scared for sure On the Q100 yeah, for sure Damn y'all never did Scared straight Nah, nah. But we did visit regular. Oh regular what was style. your experience like And I grew up What, in was, a pr- young, grew up what in a, was a young Joe Budden doing I grew up in a prison <laughs> town and I, I did three of them <laughs> so so obviously didn't work. <laughs> no, because it was different ones. Like that's why you. That's is that where you learned to blow the smoke into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it all makes sense now. Yeah. I see what you learned on that field trip. <laughs> the first skid straight, they was allowed what to like to aquariums. Did <laughs> 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 Joe? Joe was sick those Art days. Museums. <laughs> like, he was sick those days. He didn't. He didn't make it to school those days. But jail. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, jail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He was there early. He bought snacks for the trip. <laughs> he went to commissary. Yeah, he bought peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> he bought a beef log. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you make ramen noodles so good. <laughs> for sure. We're I, t- not, I totally get it We're now. not getting any new listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga just listening no, now like, why do people say this is good we again? Are. We went from we, uh, and we made our way back to the Huncho record, and now we're at Rikers Island. This is great. No, we got to get back to the Huncho record. <laughs> yeah, no, we do, we do. Oh shit! The first scare straight, they was allowed to like get in your face, like they was allowed to like put their hands on you. Yeah, hey, I remember so, that. I remember. That. <laughs> they quickly changed that one when yeah. one, of the, one of the kids got beat up too bad. <laughs> <laughs> So Getting one guy a little too hazy. So, so I went to Skid Straight when they was allowed to like get a little physical with you, like a little, a little yeah, shake. Shake you up, shake you up a little bit. They didn't ever shake what me though, was it? and I was afraid. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was so young, but it was in Jersey somewhere. It was Middle Jersey, okay. one of them down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So then I went again, and they couldn't touch you. All they could do is take your sneaker off and throw it real far. <laughs> and make it well, no, your it shoes were off already. Because they tell you to take your shoes off then, and stand them in front of you. And then they come over there, some big diesel ass nigga, and toss your shit right for two something. Yeah. I'd be, be careful with those words, toss your shit. But. <laughs> that nigga tossed my. I'm, I'm, I bet he did yeah, toss it. That nigga yo, tossed my hey, tonics. Yo. <laughs> Toss my tonics Fam, first Word you, choice But you hear how Rory couldn't wait to get a year Like wait let me get it out first pause <laughs> Rory yeah yeah Well yeah Let me your deflection Let me, your deflection let me your say the jokes <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a tonics You're like yeah yeah Well yeah Nigga uh, def- Deflection No they athlete, tossed my a tonics Rory Okay Not my ass Okay <laughs> You said I they could touch you what you were talking about <laughs> No, I knew what you were talking about. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant, bro. I'm, I'm, going I'm off holding you, you down right here. This is That's me. All? This is me helping you. Help me help you, man. Don't look at me and say, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. <laughs> and we are back. 
<laughs> <laughs> Listen, what do y'all think about Quavo exposing all of this this information? Honestly, well, well what exactly did he expose? That they Let's, fucked. I think okay. it was a response record to the Barbie Dreams thing. Yeah, I don't think he's and serious. that's how I took it. I don't think it's a serious thing. But he said that he's the person that sent her the Chanel bags okay. that she was clamoring over online. Well, that's when, nice of him. Yeah, that doesn't yeah, mean just they, they had sex. Good gesture from a friend. Yeah. And let me and let me just say that. Yeah, good gesture from a friend. Mm-hmm. So good, good gesture from a friend. Mm-hmm. Does this make us look at Nikki any type of way? Like that's kind of hard. I think. I think that's dope. What's that? I think it's dope that she beat a few niggas that she rapped about. <laughs> 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 I think it's swag. <laughs> that's so, definitely swag. I yeah. think. I think so. Like I don't see where. I did want to hear her address it though. I did want to hear her address it on Queen Radio. I did. I mean. At least the ones that we know were good artists. Call a nigga a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Yeah, like something like nah, nigga, you ain't get don't this. Don't lie on your dick. Yeah, yeah, you got me sitting there glued to Queen Radio, and then I hear Tax start talking. I'm like, wait, that's not on show. <laughs> <laughs> that's Tax. That's Tax. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking Tax. And while it was great to hear from Tax, oh, uh, let me give Tax a little yeah. round of applause. That was good to hear Shout from out Tax. To hearing from Tax. I just didn't want to hear from him at that moment. Yeah, because tax didn't. Because why is tax on anything? Queen Radio from jail? I, I think that was already set up. Yeah, I was gonna say it must have been pre arranged. Yeah, I think no, that sure. was set up, and then the record, you know, had came out, and it was just the time. Uh, you don't think been. he sent it to her first? I was gonna say you don't think he talked to her about it first. It might have been pre-recorded. That's true too. The Queen Radio. Yeah. yeah. That's also yeah. That's true. Yeah, it would have Possibly. to be pre-recorded. Yeah, duh. Why did I think of that? It's pre-recorded. Mm-hmm. They got tax. They pre-record that shit. That ain't Nikki there live on the phones. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's possible. I think and that's why they talk about anything super relevant, like the Kanye Trump meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they spoke did? about that. Oh, okay, yeah. so I didn't get to. It wasn't to that it. pre-recorded to it when it comes out. Yeah, me either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it can't be that pre-recorded because they definitely talked about that Trump thing. Okay. All right, fine. Well, we'll get off a hundred then. Yeah. Oh no! Before we get off of that, let me let me ask y'all. Because Migos is huge, pause. Mm-hmm. What do you think the disconnect is with the members going solo, though? Like, wouldn't you think it would have a bigger impact? I think we have to see yeah. more solo I think solo it's all part of the plan. It's, it's, um... Before I could judge that. Sometime, see, sometimes you, you... See, when you're in a group and people love the group, you know, sometimes you test those waters solo and you find out that people would rather see y'all as a unit. Like you're not as you know, people don't love you out there on your own as much as you think they would. I think from a musical perspective, they're more interesting as a group because it, even though they're uh, sometimes a little bit repetitive sonically, the fact that they have different styles within their shit, yeah, that, yeah. Makes they play, it, they play, they play off it, each other really, right. really well. But that's like, what I'm where, saying. As as a, as a group, it works. They make up for a lot of what the other person lacks, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. No, no, no. Right. I understand what you're saying, and that's not to say that. They might not have. They might have success as solo artists. Mm-hmm. They might, but they probably got to figure out how to do that. And maybe they haven't. Quite the funny yet. thing is, I think that, I think that Offset would potentially be a bigger solo star. Maybe. I think he would because I think his style. I think he can, as a solo rapper, he can he blends well with, like he can do records with like real like. Rappers. Rappers. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. real. He's a little more lyrical, I guess. Yeah. His or style, like yeah. his content. Well, he's got a solo project coming also, right? And which I'm, which and I'm, did he do one with Metro Boomin? Like a little tape? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They yeah. Did. Well, with uh, 21 Savage too, right? Okay. Yeah. Wasn't that what it was? That which was I'm not set? mad at that. Like when Quavo did the Travis shit. Like I think it's cool when they branch out and do that. For sure. I just. This, I think they just have to figure it out. That's all. Yeah. I don't know if this Quavo one was a great step in the solo direction. It's you know it's part of the process. But I mean that's the that's I the still good think thing it's about part of their plan. That's the good thing about music being so uh, quickly digested these days. They it, can bounce right back. Yeah, even yeah. if you put out a, a, a bad project, people if, forget yeah, about people it. People still days. love you. Yeah, Mom, you'll be fine. Before you got here, uh, it's a real uncomfortable moment for me. I'll, I'll just talk about my experience. Rory and Parks just started high fiving over the new Drake and bad. <laughs> Bad baby, bad bunny. Span, well, bad bunny, Spanish record. Parks and I are and it part was of weird because Parks yeah. is really tall. So yeah. like Rory was kind of having to jump. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. It's more like a high, high eleven. Yeah. yeah, they was going ham mm-hmm. hard as a motherfucker. Let these people know who no, we y'all know am. We know the record. That's what y'all was doing over that. 
So I, I just thought y'all were inspiring me. That's my favorite like, record that came out this week. Really? I don't understand a word you're saying. As, as someone that, that, that used to frequent hookah spots yeah, get a the lot, fuck out of here. you know that your record is, is going to go crazy get the fuck out of here. in the hookah spot. Sid is at oh. home jamming to that shit right now. If she if she'll turn Scissor off, then yes. <laughs> I mean, Scissor's still playing strong. In right, the right now, she's still See, in the bath it's still, listening uh, to Scissor. It's still playing strong in my household too. That's a great album. It is, but God damn it, man. <laughs> <You're saying> it? <laughs> <laughs> like, because why you always gotta take charts? a bath when you cut it on? That, Just play it if you like that, it. That bad bunny, <laughs> that bad that bad bunny and Drake shit about to push. Uh, Chicks have bath music. They really Yo, do. Chicks is on trash. Just play the song you like. Dudes have bath music too, though. Don't look. Yeah, I ain't took a bath since I was four. <laughs> well, shower music. I'm not talking about bath, like in the tub. Yo, that was funny <laughs> when you said you was taking a shower, letting that first Frank Ocean album vibe out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I thought I deleted it. Gump Wait, I thought I deleted well, it. Well, I'm always washing his balls when Forrest Gump came on. I thought I, thought I, I deleted the curtain. I thought I deleted the record. It felt like he was in the middle of that Sleepers movie. Fam. I heard that shit come on. Yo, listen. Thought he was back at Scared Straight. Fam. Ran to the MacBook. Like, fam, 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 fam. We not doing that while I'm in the shower. <laughs> but Frank didn't do anything. No, but we're not going to listen to Forrest Gump while I'm in the shower. Yeah. I'm cool. Why? Your masculinity is so fragile. It really is, though. Kind of it really is fragile. It's not it's fragile. It I is just, fragile. Only because I thought I right deleted now. it. So I'm like, why, why is this record playing? It's a good playing? song. <laughs> no, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Uh, what, what were that we bad, The Bad Bunny and Drake record. That's oh, yeah. Have you ever listened to a woman sing about a man? You cool with that? But, uh, like a, like in a shower? Just, yeah. Eh. Never let like a tank record play when you was in the shower? Nah, fam. Okay. I'm cool. Well, what's your shower music since you brought it up? <laughs> you brought it up. I ain't got nobody co-sign it. Like, what just... I don't really have... I wouldn't say I have shower music, but like, if music is playing and I happen to get in the shower, I'm not thinking about what I want to hear while I'm in the shower. Like, no. That's a weird thing I, I do now. Like, now now I, get in the, I get in the shower with my phone. Set a mood. Wait, Wait what? the phone is actually <laughs> on the inside of the shower? Yeah. You're weird. Why? What are you doing? Give it a break, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, you don't have to get that tweet off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm send me a room. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one time Yo. you definitely get caught up. <laughs> Yo, but you can see me like, what you doing? I'm just washing the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Yeah, you take your phone in the bathroom. Yeah, you're actually retarded. on the inside of the shower. Yeah. Yes, you put in a little soap rack. That's crazy. Now you know what it is because I, I, I want to control the Bluetooth while I'm in there, and the phone is waterproof now, so it's like fuck it. <laughs> but sense. I do feel, I feel, I'm, I'm telling you, I feel a little funny. I feel a little odd. You should. Doing it. Yeah, that's you should. sick. It's, it's, that's normal to feel odd with your shower. Your Have you ever shower. like? Texted like your man. You when you ever in the shower? love someone? Yeah, don't, text me when yeah, like, don't hit the group chat when you Wait, in the shower. I don't hit the group chat. <laughs> Y'all, I don't, don't, sure, I don't though, be in that like, shit at I, all. I never hit the group chat. Let's, I, mean, I like, hate the group I might chat. Have initiated conversation in a group chat three times. <laughs> nah, nah just this, nah, just this weekend games. you dropped yeah, a little yeah, academics yeah, fire. That was one. That was one. All of y'all have that was initiated conversation in the group chat. And then both y'all are lying. No, I, no. Of course three. we no, have. Mall be, Rory. Mall be quiet though. Three. Oh no, Mall's the quietest one in there. Yeah, yeah. like I don't. I, I, no, Karan is the quietest one in there. Boy, oh, yeah, K is. I, I forgot K. And Mall, is, Mall, is, Mall is also in about five other group chats. Like he's yeah. a group chat hoe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my phone is group and, chat heavy. I don't trust niggas. I wouldn't group text chat us hoes. if I was in a group chat with Hove either. That's a but I, but see, I don't. I, I can't consider myself a group chat hoe only because it's like I don't. I don't participate in the group chats. Yeah, but they're fun. But you in them. Group chats are yeah. hilarious. You are a loser. Why? <laughs> what's, the name? what's the name? <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. What's, what's the name of the other group chats? It's no names. It's just... I, no, I think one of my group chats... <laughs> this is us. <laughs> the, the, name, the, name of, the name of our group chat is crazy, though. It's like, I don't even know what it is anymore. It's like yeah. 72 names up there. It's just yeah. a bunch of niggas that have dissed me. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Yeah. But there's some names that we got to take some of them names off though, because y'all cool. Remember man. when all like the party promoters had groups and they all had really funny names like Money Loyalty Respects Presents. <laughs> no, I never want to go to a Money Loyalty Respect party. <laughs> Maybe that was my yeah. era. Yeah, I was just going to Elvia shit. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't fancy. wherever she was at. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Well, call Elvia, man. Whatever she presents. We had foxes later. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Wait, no, God damn it, what were we talking about? Honcho. No, not Honcho. <laughs> <laughs> not who we still talking about. No, Huncho. we're not. We're talking about Drake and Bad Baby Man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Bad, yeah, Bunny. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Bunny. And it, yeah, they're knocking Ozuna out the, the playlist for uh, a week. Listen, man. That shit is... It's a good, it's a good record. That shit is a bop. It's a smash. It's a smash. It's, it's, it's out of here. Yeah. It's out of here. <laughs> they got one. I they, got one. They, got they got one. They got one. Yeah. Yeah, we got one. No, that shit is dope, though, when you see, like, Spanish music. I but think this ain't the first time Drake No, it's not. It's not, but I think it's gonna be like a hit hit. It is. No, it will. It will. Be. Yeah, I swear. To you, if I lived in London, <laughs> what? if I lived in, because <laughs> they need Spanish, they need Dominicans in London. They man. do, <laughs> yo. <laughs> because part of the allure of this record that y'all, I, I'm visioning it. I haven't listened to it yet, right? But. I see y'all excitement and I'm getting excited <laughs> because if this shit is a hit like that and it's Friday, I'm walking my ass right around the corner I, I and re- you. requesting it. <laughs> and it's a cheat code because all the girls that like that song are going to look great. All the girls like any I, yeah, bad buddy I promise song. you, so if we walk into that hookah spot that will remain nameless around the corner, yeah, yeah that shit is going to be playing So now I feel like London is really missing out. I feel like I would colonize uh, London. <laughs> with, with the Dominicans? Dominicans? Yes. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. You think if I lived in London, I wouldn't be trying to colonize Joe, that bitch? Joe Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Columbus. Right. Wait, time out. I think this is the first pocket. We have an ad, I think. <laughs> oh, Great timing. Honcho. Don't we have an ad? And it's not for Honcho. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, Tuesday, October 16th at 10, 9 Central, right after the BET Hip Hop Awards. I'm inviting you to check for a fly new reality series called Hustle in Brooklyn. It premieres on BET. And after the clips I've seen, I can see it becoming appointment TV. Now, you know I'm from Harlem, but grind recognize grind, and Brooklyn goes hard. Next Tuesday, you'll meet nine of the most ambitious and talented newcomers BK has ever seen. From music to business, comedy to fashion, these hustlers will not take no for an answer. Take it from me. With ambition comes drama. Just like in business, in life there will be rivalry, lust, greed, and betrayal. Watch the cast of Hustle in Brooklyn navigate it all. Tuesday, October 16th at 10, 9 Central after the BET Hip Hop Awards on BET. Keep up with them on social media with the hashtag HustleNBK. Learn more about the cast at BET.com. I would have some Dominicans in London. They need them. They need them. All of I Europe think needs everywhere Latin needs culture. Some Dominicans. That's when I spent a month in in Europe a couple of years ago with Prem on tour. I was so mad. Like after the first week, it's like, damn, there's no Latin culture here whatsoever. Like Latin I mean, American. They got culture. a lot of West Indian culture. That's really what. I takes mean, yeah, over London. that's true. That's why New York is so great. Two white guys and two black guys sitting here clamoring over Dominicans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's New York in a nutshell. Yeah, New York is great. Yeah, New York. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. I think we're all a little bit Dominican in the summertime in New York. Everybody. Yeah. New York is. Well, you can't 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 beat it. Yeah. How are they trying to gentrify Dykeman? They can't. They gotta leave it alone. It is gentrified. Once a Starbucks goes up on in anywhere. Well, there's been Starbucks up there for a while. That's what, it's gentrified. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't gentrified when Fab was hanging out <laughs> up yeah, there. It was. <laughs> Wait, Fab started the wave? <laughs> It was. Fab gentrified Dykeman. <laughs> <laughs> Fab was the first condo. And Joe, Fab, did, Joe Fab, gentrified Steinway. So Fab that's a definitely fact. gentrified yeah, Joe, Dykeman. Joe did kind of ruin no, Steinway. You did. You no, did. Big, no, big facts. I live here. <laughs> big facts. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I fucked that shit all up. You did. Uh, Glad you admit it. All right. So, uh, all right. So the Drake and, and Bad, just a bop, bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. All right, I got a a Have you heard it? Yeah, it's a good record. No, you heard it. For sure. You and Brandon Jennings. For sure. I just want to know. <laughs> I'm Brandon didn't hear that record. I would love to see. No, wait. Why are you and Brandon listening to that record together? <laughs> Brandon didn't hear that record. But still, we didn't hear that still record. though. Who took whose verse when y'all was listening? Like, you took Bad Bunny's verse, he took Drake's They verse. was in the car like, yo, who, you, who got who? <laughs> <laughs> who got who? <laughs> yo, y'all be making me sound like a nut-ass nigga. I'm not going to lie, man. Yo, but you know how they used to do like BTS, like in the studio making the record? I would love to see like Drake practicing Spanish with like Rosetta Stone trying to get that first down. How do you think he did that? You think he wrote it and then Bad Bunny just like I've actually talked wrote about it in this Spanish girl before. I think it's easier to like sing and rap Spanish even if you don't understand what it's saying. Like, because when it's musical, it, but like, that's what I'm saying. Drake wrote the that. lyrics. <laughs> so and then Bad Bunny just wrote it in there Spanish. trying to get an EP on his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You, Listen, are, man. you are a I'm creep. Like, that's the time. Yeah. Now that's the time. Y'all don't want to have my house bugged right now. <laughs> <laughs> Them conversations are wild. 
No, I mean, hip hop has. We're loving hip hop. Y'all are actually doing that. Fuck out of here. You bugged your. You invited the bugs. Yo, the last scene, and I'm gonna say this, even though I ain't supposed to. I thought I was in the Matrix. That last loving hip hop scene. The last loving hip hop scene. She said, "I want you to." um I just wanted, because you're so bright and you're so talented, I just want you to be involved in everything uh, with my music. I said, that's not true. You don't talk to me about anything. <laughs> you don't tell me shit about your music. And then she said, that's because every time I ask you to do a song for me, you say you retired. And I said, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So is this why wait, you don't really retire? Oh, Mona, wait, wait. This is going to be a great season. Wait, wait. Oh, this is going to be, no, be a great season. Wait, how do we get to oh, doing man. a song? Spin, our spin-off was, podcast is going to be I was, amazing. I was oh, just I talking about wait. pillow talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, our that got to writing a song? Our spinoff podcast so is going to be amazing. Y'all have no idea the pressures when you live with someone who wants <laughs> you to write a song. <laughs> now you can escape I can't them. Imagine, <laughs> like well, look at the I problems. Mean, this nigga imagine going home house. to that. <laughs> this nigga having some sick problems in his household. Man. <laughs> write me a record. <laughs> what? <laughs> Type of shit is Wait, then I was going to the bathroom the other day. I think I heard somebody try to jerk my baby on pub points. I had to do a double say, hey, wait a minute. Damn peed on my thigh. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, That's I too much percent. Too I many points. Yeah, do a U-turn. <laughs> wait a minute. Did you write the song? Wait. <laughs> I'm in there going crazy. Yo, Ian, 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 you did not write the song. Keep. Keep. You did not write the song. <laughs> Ian and Holy shit. Yeah. Written by Ian and Keep. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. By to the top entertainment. I t- I, listen, real. I say all that to say, God damn it, Sydney P better be fire. <laughs> it better be some flames on that bitch. I know that one. Damn. I'm kind huh? <laughs> Me too, shit. You go mad, she ain't call me, you know what I mean? Like, we could have... No, I told her to leave you alone because your plate is full. She asked. Okay. Yeah, I specifically said leave parks alone. <laughs> True. Yo, if I was stupid. Word. Leave <laughs> parks alone. His plate is full. Right. Yeah, shit. I done hired him for everything. Parks out there smoking with me. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Anytime I'm out the house, <laughs> which is all the time, Parks he's right next to me. <laughs> all right, come on. Let's talk about something serious. Oh, you you know what? Lastly, Huncho. off, off yeah, of, <laughs> to Huncho. Yo, I'm gonna fuck track, y'all up. Track three. We, no, we talked about it already. We, get three. To track three. we did. We're not talking about Huncho about anymore. Track four. We're, no, it's <laughs> over. We finished with Huncho. Is it over for hookah spots? No, hell nah. no. What's wrong with you? Nah, I keep not. hearing the city was trying to like ban all hookah. They're trying, but they're not. But who wants to go to the city for hookah? Yeah, everybody <laughs> goes to Bergola. No, I heard like nah, I'm, I'm hearing like New York. Period. You always yeah, right. guaranteed to bump into your old work at Pergola. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. And your new work. <laughs> and the work you're with right now. <laughs> always. My sin better not be in no damn Pergola. <laughs> Why? Shit. Yeah, what are you talking about? Because we're parents. I mean, why? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? They have, they're, they're babysitters exist. Yeah. 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 Because we're oh, parents. Oh, shit. You right. parents Wait, in Pergola? <laughs> it's wild parents in the Word. Pergola. Hoes. <laughs> Show. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> all right, so let me cue this record up. Um, hitting them with the bongo first because I didn't tell you guys. I didn't. I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you guys because I was like too sad to tell you guys. So now I'll tell you guys. So Thursday, Harlem's appointment. Oh, I no. Know. Thursday was Harlem's appointment, and that big mass on his elbow is like bleeding. Like, it was really, really bad. Yeah. So I take them in, and they call me with all this, do you want to do an eco? Do you want to do a sonogram? Do you want to do? And I'm like, shit, the dog is 15. Might as well do all that shit. Let's see what's going on. Right. So Harlem had a big mass on his heart. Mm. Jesus. Which was affecting how blood was circulating. Mm. So they told me that they would do the surgery, however there was a high probability that he would die during surgery. I'm not ready for this sadness. Mm -hmm. I have outstanding queued up. Uh, (laughs) Outstanding wouldn't fix this one. to play the whole record. (laughs) So, no, I bring it up because I was at a, I was at an interesting spot when she said, you know what? He's an older dog. I don't, I don't want to do this surgery in the nighttime. I want to do it when we're fully staffed, when everybody's here. So I'll do it in the morning. Now, do you want to come and see the dog before we go? I couldn't because I had to do a 
the Revolt show. So I was fucked up all day. Right. Because I'm like, fam, I didn't see Raven when she died. Mm. And now Harlem, like, what type of fucking dog owner are you? So anyway, I tell him to go ahead and do the fucking surgery because the mass is too big on his arm. I wasn't even thinking about the heart. Right. And they did the surgery, and he's cool. He's great. Okay. He is awesome. Good. That's good to that know. Is, that is my report. Harlem is recovering. <laughs> he is there. I have not seen him. I have not picked him up. But he's a trooper. That included the heart or just the shoulder shit? Left the heart alone. Okay. Le- left the heart alone. Because the, the doctor was saying that the heart shit is there. So, I mean, once it gets too bad, quality of life. what it does. I mean, that's, that's, it's there. Yeah. So, what do you want to do? And I said, listen, my dog... I know my dog's will to live. Back to that suicide conversation. I mean, not suicide, but that after death conversation. Right. Will to live is important. Absolutely. I didn't think Harlem was ready to go. No, no. he doesn't seem like it. So at 15, the fact like the four surgeries, like what a guy. Yeah. So I'm extremely happy that my dog's alive. That was a long way of saying that. So let me hit the round go of applause my man. for my dog that fight is alive. Because I wasn't ready to let go. Stay with us, Harlem. Yeah. There. You got to buy him some vanilla ice cream now. <laughs> or pizza. He loves Should pizza. Mad shit to fuck with his heart. <laughs> <laughs> vanilla ice cream is safe. It's not. But Might fuck with his stomach, but not his heart. <laughs> Thank- It'll make his heart smile. Thank you, Maul. I-, I appreciate that. All right. What, what, what are we talking about now? Then I got that out the way. What's that? What else is important? Kaylani's to- pregnant. You want to talk about that? Sure. Because everybody thought that she didn't like guys. Well, I saw on Twitter someone said that Young M.A. might might have gotten her pregnant. (sighs) Young young M.A. getting around with that little strap on, so. (laughs) (laughs) Young M.A. took all all the chicks, man. How you a hoe with a strap on? (laughs) It's easier. How your strap on's a hoe? No no repercussions. Yeah, that's why. (laughs) Congratulations to Kaylani. But Kaylani is like guys. Yeah, she's dated two that we knew about. No? That's true. You think it's any of them? No, I don't think so. You don't think it's... You don't think yeah, I think it was like a, a back home high school Oakland guy. Oh, okay. Hmm. Makes sense. She does look like she's been glowing lately. Makes sense. Yeah, she wouldn't have glowed with none of them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Chicks don't never glow with the old nigga. <laughs> can you re-glow? <laughs> re-glow? Of course you yeah. can. The same dude cannot make you glow twice. Shit. Yeah. They can. Yeah, if they get you pregnant. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And if they put a light in your All face. All right, let me just pull up the topics, man. <laughs> oh, wait. So we this Drake shit uh, came out where he's talking about, uh, he's on uh, the shop with shop, LeBron, yeah. and he's talking mm-hmm. about the pusher shit where he's talking about 40 and the disses. And, Does that whole episode uh, come out? Or is this just I, don't, I don't think the whole snippet? episode is out to yet. Okay. Just a snippet. And I can't play it because I don't own it. But it did come out the whole show. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, got it, got it, got it. All right. So well, let's we have not watch the whole thing. We haven't seen the whole thing, but just going on the clip. Did we need him to tell us that? <laughs> what did he say? He said push went too far, and he didn't feel like rapping. No, nah, that wasn't. No, we over rapping back and forth. I'm not gonna yeah, we, rap back to you to yeah, we knew all that make out. your reputation bigger now oh, when you're being this disrespectful to like I want to do other things. You've taken this somewhere else. Like you need to get punched in the face. That's basically what he said. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, we we kind of knew that that's what where it had went with that whole situation. Like it just was getting way too disrespectful, and it was like uh, that's well. So Jay Prince said, "Maul, you had some some interesting commentary when I was letting the clip play." Huh, you want to stand on that one? Oh, yeah, LeBron called himself a hip, a hip hop historian. What? <laughs> Why he's not? LeBron's. A, you think? Do you think LeBron's a hip hop historian? Uh, his his actions suggest that he does his research. I would say that. But nodding to music in the back of a car makes him a hip hop historian. I mean, he seems to. That's part to of him. being a hip hop yeah. historian. <laughs> yeah, that's a big part of it. I just I want to know the album that LeBron James does not like. <laughs> Like, what album isn't fire? I don't know, man. He's he's nodded his head to a bunch of shit I mix, so <laughs> I fuck with LeBron. Um, yeah, that was, shop show is great. Playing st- the Rage st- album. He's yeah, cool st- with me. I stand by his Matter of fact, didn't he start his a and shit with the Rage album? No, nah, I think he was doing it before then. I don't know. I feel like he might was, have been. It was the, an early, early one. Or the second or third. Yeah, it was an early one. Why, why, but what strikes you as odd about that, that, that he calls himself a hip-hop historian? Or why do you think it's funny anyway? 
Because LeBron's not a hip hop historian. Why not? He's not. He got a lot of free time. But why? Why? Why not? Hip hop historian. Historian, sure. Yes. LeBron is way too consumed with basketball to be a hip hop. Yeah, historian. but you put on shit in the gym. You know what I mean? No. You can't. Yes, you yeah. can't be. You can't study something if you're consumed with something else. You're saying. Well, to 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 play at the level that LeBron plays at and has played at his entire career, he can't listen to Nipsey. No, I'm not saying he can't <laughs> listen. I'm li- not. You I'm think not he's saying he can't. To while he's lifting weights. I'm not saying he can't listen to music. Practicing free. I'm throws. not saying he can't. But it, there's so many things that he's 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 missed in music and in hip hop. Historian. Not he's a he. I'm, I'm yes he listens to hip hop and yes he's an avid fan and you know I would have he a loves couple questions culture. for him. I would have a couple questions. But historian, I would have a couple questions. It's not a lot of. Does hip-hop he know historians. ultra magnetic and does he know? You know what I mean? There's I a couple think, questions. This is, that, this, this is what EPMD, I'm trying to say. Like, this is what yo, I'm LeBron, to say. if you're listening, let us know how you feel about them. You know, I would, I would not. say that he. I would. I'm gonna say that he is. Yeah. I'm he, gonna say he that he plays your song. Of course you will. No, I mean, well, yeah, but no, I'm saying it because. I know it's funny to laugh at LeBron today when he does all that head nod, listen to music in the back of the car shit. But I remember all of those clips from when he was in uh, St. Vincent's and he was doing it then. No, at, when, when you play sports, remember? you listen to music. Yes, I get that part. But I'm just saying you can't call yourself a hip hop historian. I understand listening to music and I'm about to sound nuts because I don't really know how to explain this. It's a difference from listening and listening, listening. Right. No, yeah, like, I know what you're saying. That nigga was running around with like a Walkman on in places he shouldn't have had one on. It's like, all right, what are you doing, man? Yeah, but, but, but <laughs> sports and, and, and hip hop go hand in hand. For sure. So I'm just saying it wouldn't be far fetched to me if LeBron knew quite a bit about. And no, and I'm sure he does. I mean, hip hop ain't that old. It ain't, right. it ain't even that tough to go back. All you have to do is want to go back. That'd be my beef with some of the, the young people today. Like, all that information is there. Yeah. It's, it's really it's there. easy. To, it's all on fucking oh, yeah. Spotify, dog. Yeah. yeah it is. I was so excited when I saw that there was a 70s part to the doc. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, I didn't even, let me see what was happening, what mom and dad was into. I was just thinking the other day about how difficult it was back in the day to be a historian of music. Like... When you had you to can't go out shit. and find the fucking tape or the CD, yeah. it was difficult. You had to rely on your parents' discography or the mom and pop store. Or you had yeah. to forego the new Outcast tape to go get Ultra Magnetic, mm. which at the time would be like, why the fuck are you listening to that shit from the 80s? See, that's what is super dope about today in the streaming era. Because back then, like... I do regret not, like, we didn't feel some of the shit that was popping somewhere else because we just missed it. Right. Like, I'm sure Biggie didn't hit like it did over here for over there. Like, we got outcast whenever we got it. But, like, some of those waves, today, you know what's hot everywhere. Right. Like, you're not missing a wave. You're not missing a region. You're not missing a sound. Everything is there. Mm-hmm. I do miss that. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like well, I'm jealous of that streaming and Spotify kind of killed that, though. Like, I love Motown now because that's, all that was in my mother's collection. If I had Spotify at that age, I don't know if I would have been forced to just sit and listen and appreciate that. Mm. Like, I would go to the What's Hot page on Spotify, and that's the music I would have grown up on. That's fair. Like, I sat in my mom's CD record collection, that's what I grew up on, because that's all that was there. That's true. I mean, I, I, yeah, and, I'm, and, and back I think to the, streaming is going to kind of kill that. Like, it's really up to the parent to sit the kid down and make them listen to it. I think it's up to the listener, too, to, like, go out your way and listen to some shit. And another thing is how many, how much vinyl do you think LeBron owns? Uh, I don't know that that makes vinyl's trendy now. It is trendy. I don't, is I don't it, know that you have to own matter. vinyl to be a hip hop historian. Even though I personally own a shitload of vinyl, and this is like a quarter of my collection at least. You don't have to own vinyl. Yeah, to I, be I, a I don't know that you. Listen, I'm a vinyl. You have head. to own vinyl, vinyl, vinyl to be a collector. Yeah, I'm a vinyl head, but I don't. I, that, that doesn't make me. As long as you know the shit that you're supposed to know. If you're a historian of anything. Right, you would need to own pieces of. Well, one thing I would say if, if the time if you want to be in very that very uh, in that, if you want to be super like specific to the term historian, there's a lot of shit, especially early '80s, uh, like early Def Jam shit that is only on vinyl, and you might be able to find it on YouTube, but it's not on Spotify or mm. Apple. So if you want to like be super hardcore about historian, then yeah, you would probably need to own some vinyl. I want to figure out what they're gonna do with all the mixtape era. We talked about this before, but yeah. Because of streaming services, they don't have the mixtape era. They have, I guess you can YouTube some of this shit. But for like the kid 10 years from now that wants to dig the way I digged right. for like early 90s shit. Doug. <laughs> you 
grammar police. How do they get no, the mixtape? We got to we got to preserve <laughs> Dat Piff by all all means. Necessary. Yeah. There needs they Dat Piff needs to figure out some system. They have an app that's good. You can listen. You can stream everything. Okay. You can listen to whatever you want. Because that's an there. era. That's a very important part of hip hop. For sure. Is that mixtape era that will never see a light of day on a streaming service. For sure. But their app is good. Shout out to them for that. That's good why I hang on to my iTunes so like close to me on yeah, backup on drives and shit. Because the shit I'll never get. You can't get it back. <laughs> my shit. Yeah. It's all oh three to fucking oh seven of just amazing shit that'll never be on a streaming site. Yeah. <laughs> Parks. I'm sorry, Rory. Back to that '90s doc. Bill Gates, them niggas wasn't so ill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. He was charging five hundred dollars for a fucking fifty cent floppy disk. No, disc. yeah, no, he was. He was doing some bullshit. <laughs> he was ill. But I'm just saying, he was shady as fuck. Them niggas came up at a great time. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Absolutely. A lot of a lot of people, invented. yeah, a lot of people <laughs> becoming millionaires and shit. It's just all about timing. Yeah, them niggas I was mean, right there when the chip started just. Holding everything, right? And then, they, yeah. and, and then, when the consumer was scared to buy some shit or wouldn't buy it because in the next six months some newer shit was coming out, man, what? <laughs> yeah, but but also I think man. Next, I think the next generation is gonna say that about us when it's like, dog, you have an app where someone picks was, you up in a car. That's the most simple idea I've ever heard in my life. That's right. <laughs> like, I was watching that shit, cursing my parents out. <laughs> I can't man. believe y'all y'all got me playing with the bum ass drums in the projects at four years old. Man. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't so you get... mad you your dad didn't invent Macintosh? Yeah. <laughs> Especially that's a wild thing to be mad at your dad. Not at all. Oh. Not when not when they start telling you how Silicon Valley was created. Right. Your dad was in the Bronx. <laughs> Great. But when they start telling you how Silicon Valley... I was going to tell you how crack was created. <laughs> no, but that... Listen... I was there when they brought it in. But that's, but that's where I went. When they were talking about Silicon Valley just being a meeting of the tech people and the creative people, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, y'all lucky the crack kids wasn't there. Wait, so, I'm dead ass. So fat, Are you kidding me? So Fat Cat is like your Bill Gates. <laughs> fat Cat is your Bill Gates. <laughs> What's wrong with Rory? Man? Listen, <laughs> if you put some crackheads around them tech niggas That's back then, they would figure it out. <laughs> Shit, some ideas was coming. Yeah, I don't sure. know what you're talking about. Sure. Yeah, hell yeah, I was cursing my put parents. Put the crack out. inside the apple. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to plug it in. <laughs> this shit gonna sell itself. <laughs> <laughs> This is the dumbest my podcast. Bad. On I, the I, I, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to go there, fellas. My bad. I apologize. So back to Huncho. No, we're not going to talk about Huncho. <laughs> um, time to have a, a man a man's meeting a men's meeting about Terrence J and his behavior. Friend of the show, Terrence J. It had to be him because I like Terrence a lot. Let me. Uh, I got to hit the drop before we even get into this. Was this a case of Mendeecees having his cake and eating it too? Because when he wasn't with Yandy, was he with Erica? When he wasn't with Erica, would he be back with Yandy? Because if both women carried to term, the pregnancies would have some overlap. Ma, have you heard about this story? No. Terrence J. Uh, and a mystery woman. Mm -hmm. Well... His McLaren was crashed, and him and a mystery woman fled the scene. Allegedly. That's, that's already a tough Alleg loss. Allegedly. McLarens aren't cheap. Yeah, it was an expensive car. I hope his insurance is good. And his significant other, Jasmine Sanders, also friend of the show, hi, Jasmine, uh, put out a press release saying she was in Milan. She's perfectly fine. She was not in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Milan's great. She also said that she needs to take some time away now. Women. From from social media, women tend to need to do that. After women you, love taking yeah, some after time. You, after I cla crashed my McLaren, I, I'm taking some time. Well, she wasn't in the McLaren. McLaren to take. It doesn't matter. I'm still taking some time. I know she wasn't in it, but she still needs to take some time away from social media. That's a fact. Because her boyfriend if crashed, girl crashed his McLaren. McLaren. Now, taking a break. I don't have much to say about Terrence J and his situation. All alleged. If it were me, they would have found this mystery girl by now. <laughs> If it were you, absolutely. Because it wouldn't be a <laughs> yeah. mystery. 
She would have been on the story. Yeah, like, there's no mystery. You would have ran in front of every camera on that street. You know, you just put it up live. Yeah, like, he would have been With a Newport and a Dunkin' Donuts yeah. cup, so we knew it was you. Yeah. <laughs> With sin having my location right. in my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have been a mystery. Would y'all ever do that? Would y'all ever turn your location on forever? No. Like, no. in your partner's phone? Nah. No. Uh, Both of us could just go. Like, if, if that's in the stars for me to just go out. You don't need to know my location. Y'all wouldn't do it for like safety reasons? For my kid. You said forever. So, yeah. if I, like if certain I a, If we have a kid, you know, yeah, I think I might. Like if we have a kid and... My yeah. girl tried to do that with me. Just turn on her location forever. No, we got to have like a kid. I feel like it's though. creepy. We got to have like, a kid. I don't, wanna, I don't need to know where I, you yeah, are. Yeah, I don't need a text much. message I trust asking me everywhere I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> no, we need a kid. We need a kid to have the location. After the kid, I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. I'm with it after that. I would turn that shit on and just leave the phone somewhere. <laughs> you 100% okay. would do that yeah, yeah come on turn it on yeah, you, you should know where I'm at Turn the location like, on This nigga's at the this, bodega a lot <laughs> this, uh, this doesn't have to do with Terrence J Just proposing a hypothetical situation If you crashed your McLaren And mm. you were with a woman you were, were not supposed to be with Would you run away? Yes oh, Yeah she stole that shit I'm glad you guys are on the same side as me <laughs> If a chick did something fucked up in my apartment <laughs> Hey, why are we not going to your apartment? I moved. <laughs> I ran away from that apartment. We don't even live there no more. I'm not running away from <laughs> I don't know what happened. I ran crashed somebody. my McLaren. I moved. I'm standing I don't even right live there. that apartment I Airbnb'd no more. that shit yeah. to somebody. And I, I, got cra- I crashed my McLaren. I'm standing. You know something is fishy. because no, someone's going to come get the McLaren. Because his girl ain't holding him down. Oh, yeah. So that's how she, you know. She, know, she, know. she know who the chick is. Everything she right. bet. She knew exactly it's who was in that car. It's definitely a chick she told him he can't hang out with either. It's definitely the chick he told her not to worry about. Damn. Nah, they might just be friends, bro. They always we're always just. I friends. mean, you could lie your we way. Can out only of that be one. just friends. Why yeah. girls won't let us be friends with girls? I don't because know. they always have. Oh, I have a feeling about that bitch. <laughs> no, like, yeah. prove it. It's not that they they're trying to protect us from cl- crashing the McLaren. That's true. That's true. Mom. I never looked at it that see? way. See, see what happens when you have female friends. You end up crashing would, your McLaren. You shouldn't have went to Milan. That's, that's true well, too. That's true. Yeah, you, why are you working? <laughs> I've been to Milan. You know what I mean? It should be crazy. Yeah, Milan ain't always work. It's cracked yeah, out to be. It's crazy. Man. Well, I'm glad everyone was safe. Absolutely, allegedly. that is the most important part. Allegedly, that's true. if they were in the car, allegedly, we don't that, know. I'm sad that the McLaren wasn't safe. Allegedly, well, McLarens are really cheap to fix. So that is a, that, allegedly that is one of them situations that'll test your lie game. <laughs> <laughs> you ever? You, you ever, might just have to give up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, good liar no. never gives up. <laughs> when does a good liar say, "You know what? You got me." Yeah, you know the no, liars don't tap out. Die no. with the lie, you man. You gotta yeah. die. Die on that hill. You got, you got to die with the lie. I'm trying to lie. think of what lie would do, would say in that situation. It was stolen. I, the car was home. stolen. Definitely. Give me the most elaborate shit. The most elaborate lie. Like, what's the most into the lie you've ever had to get? You have to live the lie. Yeah, I'm not very good at the lie. So, God, I've you know how many. Family members I've buried ten times. <laughs> oh, y'all never had to like act out something to prove a lie. Nah, I'm not that well, good. Well, hold I'm, on, paint the picture. I'm trying to lie. I know. I see where you're going with this. But go ahead. Well, where do you think I'm going with it? <laughs> you got to act out something. You got to act like what happened. <laughs> Wait, yes, oh, like yeah. act out the the scenario, or just anything yeah, where yeah. you had to actually now put action into the lie. Let's say, even on the smallest of scales, when your girl say, "Call that bitch." Yeah. And you've coordinated with the girl. <laughs> yeah. Like that's you yeah. acting out the lie. Yeah. Protecting the lie. Of, that's what I mean. Just, Absolutely. Your your lie is a verb at this point. Absolutely. I think every man has. Yeah, done I did that. some wild shit. Yeah, I have. I, yeah, I think every before. man has. But Talk like to your homie, you give him the yo, listen, I'm gonna call you. This is the story. The funny shit is I've done that to not get pussy. You ever had like this might not go well? I need you to call me at midnight to bail me out of the situation because I need to get out of here. Of course. I mean, I'll just walk out. Oh, y'all stole that from the girls' playbook. No, I don't feel like I don't feel like guys should be able to use that one. Why? Shit. Because that's. I feel like it should be reserved for the girls. You don't think we should we should we should have a lie to get away from a girl? Not that, that one. Why? My man called me at a certain time. Yeah. Home. That's a fucking big false. Big, nah. false. big false. <laughs> big false. That's big false. Yeah. I'm, I'm going with big false on that one. No, you look nuts. 
That's not, not real. No, see, a girl don't look nuts. Well, yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they be do. looking nuts. <laughs> yeah, but we don't let them know they look nuts. Like every time the girl come, back, oh, my best friend is locked out the house. We don't, bitch. <laughs> we don't let them know. <laughs> locksmith, locksmith, like, yeah, we don't let them know that. They yeah, we think nuts. they look nuts. Yeah, because we so stuck in trying to not to look uncool because we know what it is like we know we know what she's yeah. doing we oh, like oh man i hope she's like, okay when, yo text me when you get there yeah but like <laughs> tell me when we can get the call and get up like yo my man's got locked up yeah, I locked gotta, up that's really all we can go with you stay right here <laughs> like when you meet no, up I'll with the girl and she with you. when you meet up yeah. with the girl and she's catfish like right. she ain't as pretty as you thought she was or you go to their crib oh i got you it go to i got crib, it crib and the crib is wild like i went to this yeah. chick crib one time and she had the the shower head was on like a wooden plank <laughs> she was about to hang, she was about to hang Parks. <laughs> she was about to hang you in the shower, <laughs> which is wild because Parks is mad tall. <laughs> it's hard to hang Parks. Yo, yo, showerheads are like twelve dollars at Target. Uh, no, it, it's not even the shower. It's the whole like shit was just on a. Like, she just had a bucket the, for you to wash in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basically, and then the crib had like the paper, you know, the sticky paper that's like. Colorful, what's that shit called? Contact paper. That's what was like paper in the ceiling. I was like, I gotta get out Yo. of here. Yeah, oh you. yeah. Oh, have, the pink tissue. The pink uh, tissue. That's pink it. tissue. People don't remember pink toilet tissue. <laughs> oh shit, that's a whole different kind Yeah, I wasn't even talking about that, oh. but I do remember that. I do remember that. Now you Wait, that. Now, now that you brought that up though, Parks, what's the wildest shit you walked in a girl house and, and saw? A that. rat. A rat. I've uh, definitely seen some roaches in my days. Yeah, roaches. No, I saw it's a rat. New York City, you're gonna see a roach. A I rat, saw a f- rat. Yeah, like full a big rat. rat. Yeah. Oh no! Did you still beat? Hell no, <laughs> nigga! You're fucking crazy as hell. You did Yo, beat around fuck. the fucking mice. You can't. Be, you you can't nasty have nigga. Sex after you chilling with a girl, nigga sitting there running across. Nah, you are no, nasty. No, you no, nasty. You're you're fucking on. crazy. crazy. Not a, a mouse, baby. A fucking rat. A mouse, baby. A rat. Hell, now, even hell a mouse. No. Nah, a mouse. Hell no. Hell, be fucking around the mice. Hell no, nigga. Hell, a rat. You, you sitting fucking around a rat. Yo, you sitting on a couch oh, was with it a, a baby girl rat? Like it was a small It was one a or? fucking rat, Rory. It's <laughs> a baby one. <laughs> it, you know, it, rat? it was it was a rat, man. I don't I don't know the rat <laughs> no, chart. The my sub, nigga, it was a sub, fucking rat. No, the subway rats are different. <laughs> Have you guys They're ever different. They're They're, different. Those are different rats. Those are super Alright, put it like this. It was it was big enough to that it bumped into something and that piece of furniture moved. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so, like Mo, that was her cat. That was her cat, It was a fucking rat, man. It was a. I'm, I, I'm so serious right now. It was, was a, a fucking possum. rat. <laughs> All right, Ma. That's gross. That's a raccoon. It was, a rat. It was splinter. <laughs> Yo, your masculinity is so fragile. Right. Yo, have you? You won't fuck around rats. Fuck no. That's all right, man. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's fucking around a rat. He was fucking a rat. Have Hell you guys man. ever walked into Shorty's crib and she had the love letters from Target or Home Goods? Oh, that's when you know. Uh, you and you know, you knew you was gonna fuck yeah. right when you see when the you love letters. See in love, the peace, room? and happiness. Yeah, you fucking. Oh yeah. Eat, eat pray, love in the kitchen. Just take yeah. your shit off right there. Like you leave right away. Leave your jeans right by the wall that says love, peace, and happiness. Or like a certain kind of plant, like a certain plants that you walk in, like and women with key racks. Yeah. Women with key racks definitely give it up. Key yeah. racks, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got to look. It's, it's like certain signs in the house that'll let you know if you get in the, My head the is box spinning. that <laughs> night. And I've noticed it that is. on like IG story when they do the selfies, I mm-hmm. see the love letters, but oh, <laughs> DM her. If her elevator don't work, you beating. If you gotta walk up the stairs, it's a fact. You beating. <laughs> I'm just telling you, bro. You want me to tell you? It's a fact. These are no facts. If the facts. elevator oh, don't or, work, or if, if the elevator's the, broke, oh, definitely yeah. get boxed. Yeah. Women with or cake she, candles. If she live in a walk up? Oh, f- the, B. <laughs> <laughs> the walk up tenement? How B. Many, how many B. walks? How many I steps? Or the second floor is and if she does it in heels like a champ? Listen, it don't matter what floor she live on. <laughs> if she don't got an elevator in her building, you knocking it down. You <laughs> believe yeah. that. Cause they not even telling you to come over there. Cause like once you upstairs, you upstairs. Like it's like <laughs> for the night. Yeah, for the night. Like you're not even leaving that. You're spending the night. That's valid. Yeah, Cause, they, cause spend they don't the want night. you to walk downstairs. Nah, that's a long walk. This is you know, this is a sick podcast. I'm just telling you certain things you gotta look for when going to a, yeah. a woman's house. Uh, the birthday cake candles. You beaten. Like the ones that smell from Yankee Candle, like cakes. Oh, oh that, that scent? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Birthday cake? Yeah, it smell, that smell like yeah. that smell like mistake sex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, sure. for sure. I'm rolling, I agree with that. Yeah. I've, I've witnessed she that. She definitely has condoms in the drawer next yeah. to the bed, next to that candle. Yo, how y'all feel about girls with condoms next to their they bed, though? They're That's practicing a great safe question. sex. That's a great question. You ever how seen you a girl like? that had like a bottle of liquor in the bedroom somewhere? Nah. That's my time. Let's right stay there. on this condom by the bed thing. Let's not leave this. I want to hear this one. I want to talk about Quavo, uh, the honcho shit real quick. <laughs> yeah, let's get back into honcho after we talk about Did y'all hear track three? Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough of honcho. Okay. L- women that keep condoms by the bed. 
I feel like this is like that question I asked a long time ago. How do y'all feel about that, chicks that chick to shower is... before sex? Oh, no, that's, I'm, that's I'm a fan regular. of that. Yeah, that's regular. Yeah, cool. That's amazing. That's regular. Nah, condoms that. by the bed. You're you're getting condoms, like tied up. <laughs> like when a, when a woman has <laughs> nah, we condoms, adults. we adults. Nah, I've always been. I don't know. I, I I I honestly don't know how I feel about that. If she has condoms by the bed, she's gonna tie you up. Okay, here's what I tell you is is, is average. Well, are you using her condoms? <laughs> is it great? Awesome. Huh? Are you using her condoms? Hell no. I don't think I've ever used. Yo, y'all have a lot of weird sex rules. <laughs> Why? Yo. You go to a girl's crib using the condom she got in her drawer? <laughs> I'm. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so track so track three. Yo, Puncho. Yo, that shit well, he he can snap yo. back right at her. <laughs> yeah. Track Boy, three. Flip the yo. line from Barbie's the dreams. Flutes? The yeah. flutes was dreams. Crazy. There was a lot of flutes on that yeah, album. There was a lot of flutes. flutes. Speaking of flutes. flutes. <laughs> <laughs> I like mine bare. <laughs> Yo, like, I like I like my flutes unbothered, <laughs> untampered, yeah. uninterrupted. Don't tamper my okay. flutes. Yes. <laughs> Don't tamper with my flutes, B. Word. Oh, yo, y'all niggas is sick. We sick. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes. Y'all yeah, but now nah, I, I don't know. What's worse than a woman having condoms by the bed is her coming to your crib with condoms in her purse. That's true. If That's she's a little wild. With, yeah, if, she's if, she's, if she's walking the streets with condoms, in her purse. <laughs> a fresh pack too, fam. Because you know when it's a fresh pack. Like there's that's, that's no, no damage good. to the cardboard. No Do y'all good. still walk around with condoms on you? No, no. <laughs> that era is over, right? Yeah, it's over. That condom used to be so fucked up. That was the <laughs> nastiest <laughs> condom nasty. in your no, back we pocket. Was nasty your pocket we like would latex. go back to the crib if we fe- left the condom. Like, yo, I ain't got no condoms. It's like, fam, you going to kick it with the homies? Like, you, you're not using that. <laughs> yeah, like, leave, leave your Trojans away from here, bro. You, you running around with too much with, with that condom. You leave that oh, shit. Because yeah, yeah, then it was that era, the era where you had to show your man's that you had condoms on. Yeah. Boy, you don't we know was trash. Yo, who got a condom? Yo, here, man. You get mad when you got to give it. <laughs> yeah, like, but here, yeah, man. But then they passed. I never. I always had them and gave them away freely. Here, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using these. <laughs> here, you want these? <laughs> I don't even know what to do with these things. <laughs> Mad directs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, here. Not even nothing soft. Yo, yo, I come from I come from the free NYC subway condom. Oh, absolutely. Wait, they, they still make they, they still yo, make Durex, NYC right? Condoms? Yeah. Yo, y'all don't remember that's that the shit. Wait, a Durex still dope? No. no, they never were dope. But Dur- you, yo, yeah, you Dur- Dur- remember the NYC condom? Wait, don't you say way to God that. that. I will not let y'all just slander Durex, Durex? like that. Nah, yeah, what do you mean Durex was yeah. never dope? They that is never, not true. They were never on the top of the list. Yeah, nah. That was always a B-list condom the B-list condom Durex. Yeah. On the top of my list. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Durex was like. Am I dick small? Du- <laughs> 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 like, whoa, wait. <laughs> he was letting somebody know. What, 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 what conversation are we having here? Like, niggas is looking at me like, nah, Durex ain't the one. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I just don't know. <laughs> yo, I've never heard Eric uh, laugh. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard him laugh. Hey, yo, but you had to hear how Joe acts like he wasn't so like that. <laughs> you can't ask your niggas. <laughs> what, yo, what message am I sending with this condom? Get the fuck out of here, Joe. Don't ever ask you no shit like that. Niggas <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> said, damn, my shit little, nigga. I don't know, nigga. Fuck you asking me. <laughs> yo, Wait, I'm hot. This nigga is crazy, yo, man. I'm legit yo. crying right now. Yo, that nigga was really concerned, like. He wanted to know what the talk was like amongst the crew. Like, wait, my shit little? <laughs> Cause you don't never know if your shit is little until somebody tell you. And then you'll be like, wait, my shit little? <laughs> I've never been told my shit little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, you know what that condoms right? Oh, that is Holy fucking shit. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I had to put outstanding on the, <laughs> to change the vibe a little bit. Yo, I'm crying, bro. I'm crying. <sighs> I finished, I just finished crying. <laughs> my face hurts. Erickson was crying. <laughs> Never heard the him first laugh time, everybody life. just started crying in the room. Oh, well, we crying together. That's oh, pretty cool. Jeez. All right, come on. What do y'all want to talk about? Jim Jones and Fab. Sure. Want to talk about crime? Huh? <laughs> crime. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> You can't do that look that. Jim Jones. <coughs> what Jim Jones do? Jim Jones is facing like five felony charges from that incident uh, last month in Atlanta where 
He was a passenger in a vehicle that the police attempted to pull over. The vehicle may not have known that's what the cops were trying to do, so they didn't stop immediately. So they went on a brief mini chase, Hmm. and then when the car was pulled over, the police allegedly found uh, a few vapes, some weed, uh, some guns, Uh, some pills. The regular. I mean, yeah, right with that. weekend, I mean, bo- weekend bag. Can the cop party pack. get over this shit, man? <laughs> found a, found a little that? weekend fun. Found a party pack. <laughs> Yo, cops will ruin the fun. Oh, Word. Yeah, sure that day that they got me and Maul, I'm vaping. about to go have a blast and sin with them pills. They just vaping and shooting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ruined our weekend. They locked us up and took the pills. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Yeah, that's that's usually how it goes, just let you Joe. eat them real quick. Yeah, yeah right. It was crazy going to sell I want to be high inside the fucking bookings. Why not? Shit. Shit. Gotta have, gotta have, <laughs> if there's a, a place swivel, that you could probably be a little hot. That is the exact way. Drunk in the book is actually better. I, now man. that's what I wouldn't want to be. Why? Hell, it I wears off and you feel shitty. Mind. That's true. And that's the, I wouldn't want to be hovered over that toilet. <laughs> a high never a yeah. pill hot. Well, Mad yeah, people that trying to blow smoke in there and you trying to throw up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't wanna, nigga being high and locked up is not the move. Being locked up. being locked up is not the move. Yeah, no, but if you hide, you have to choose. Do you guys have thoughts on this Jim Jones thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope, you know, he, he beats the case. And what's up with the, away from Jim, bro, what's up with the Joel shit? Because I'm hearing, I'm hearing he, his, his, that case is great to come back up. Like, um, he got caught with the burning. How do you get caught? How do you take a gun to the airport? Probably forgot it was in the bag. You how do you forget know, a gun yeah, is in you your bag? Yeah. You should know where your gun when is. When you're packing your bag, you're going to see a gun in your bag. And you should know where your gun is. Uh, if you're yeah, you like, rushing, like you late, and you just grab the bag no, and nah, throw man, some hoodies nah, in nah, it. You, you know. should know where the gun is. Nah. You nah, should have I a know, gun. No, I agree with you guys, but I'm you guys, just telling you how You have you to know when happen. a gun is in a bag that you're carrying into it. You know everything that's in the bag when you go going to the airport. You should know where your gun is. In I general. know about shit that's not illegal. Like I start, like if my cologne, I'm worried about my cologne bottle right. being too big and my carry on. Right. Like Do that. I have my contact case? Yeah, I'm not throwing know. out this Chanel. Fuck that. Like that. I'm not. I'll <laughs> check this whole fucking bag. I'm not throwing this in the garbage. Yeah, but you're not no real gangster, more, so you're not gonna know nothing that's about true. trying to sneak a gun through TSA. No, I'm not gonna sneak a gun through TSA. <laughs> you I'm corny? not gonna try to do that. <laughs> He's corny for that. For not yeah. for not yeah. doing that. Yeah. No, I'll be corny. <laughs> Same more. Not taking a gun through TSA. Not doing it. Sorry. Well, I won't talk about it because him and I are on the show, and I'm sure that's going to play out at some point. <laughs> that's true. Like, I'm kind of waiting to see where they're taking this. Tune, angle. In, tune in next week. <laughs> I saw your ad there. The walk away. Thanks, Rory. No, I'm, we're all do you guys watch. do you guys have any thoughts on Jim Jones? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I mean, have much information. Yeah, man, I don't know. They caught him with a party. Right. They caught him with a party pack. Like it's like a uh, party pack. I mean, yeah, that's that's what it sounded like to me. Any thoughts on Fab being indicted? State picking up that case. So that was real. I read that, but I didn't know if that was a real story. That's, well, it was like on some blog. I, did, I didn't check it. Did with she the drop police. the charges? Yeah, but some, I mean, I the figured state, she... the state can pick up. Okay, the charges though. The state can well, they can pursue charges. Well, if she testifies on his behalf, how much can they really do? She can't testify on his behalf. She'll go to jail. Damn. Why? Okay. Because she pressed charges originally. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Interesting. Uh, and there's a rumor. There's there's a rumor that they they got married. That they eloped. Yeah, I read that in the shit oh. too. Yeah. Oh well, congrats so if, if they did. So yeah, congrats. congrats if they did. So get she wouldn't be. Pressure to uh, testify against him yeah, anyway, yeah. but that could work against you. That could work against you because she's now the, she's one of the people that like would testify in your or yeah no she couldn't testify in your defense. I think they got a witness. They got a witness and they got a video. Like yeah, I don't think her. I don't think Fab and the dad is fly. We all well, have well they had the video with him with the scissors in his hand. I, I read that that that's what the video one of the videos the cops were using. Because one of the charges were was, well, that's the video they're using. Yeah, they're using anything that they got that they gathered into evidence from when they looked up the case the first time. Right. This damn right. social media boy. Well, nah, well, the no, they have to they have house. to do their due diligence because too many women get killed this way. Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. so, absolutely. they have to move forward if they feel they have enough to move forward. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, or if they think it's a money grab, <laughs> I've I've seen both. Mm-hmm. Right. In this it's, in this instance, <clears throat> I don't know in New Jersey. They think they got you when they move forward. Like, they don't really play like that in Jersey. Mm. New York, they'll just bring all you niggas through, face the judge. Mm. In New Jersey, they ain't going to waste the taxpayer dollars if they don't think they got you. Mm. So I don't know how this is going to play out. Yeah, but he gonna posting be- like everything is cool, so I mean. Yeah, I mean, but we, we've never lot. seen Fab not cool. But we've seen him go dark. <clears throat> like yeah, now. Now, yeah, that's true. So that's what I'm saying. Like, 
he's not doing that. I, I mean, again, what is he supposed to do? Yeah, like what he, that's what I'm about what's to say. The like the protocol what is, for that? Yeah, like I, I don't know. You got to kind of just go ahead with your normal everyday life, I think, and just let that play out how it's gonna play out. Yeah, but boy, that's tough to do. It is. It definitely is. But I mean, we we shall see. I don't know. I didn't think I didn't think it was real because I saw it on some blog. I was like, this is probably some bullshit. But I want to thank you guys for that for that deep dive. You're welcome, bro. That was, that was awesome. Appreciate it. Sorry. I'm not gonna touch any of this Kanye shit that happened this week. No, I don't even want to no. talk about I'm, him. I'm not, yeah. yeah, I don't want to touch yeah. that, or the, cool. I don't want to talk about the Millennium Music Act if that's what brought this all together. So <clears> for that, yeah, I'm, I'm I don't want to talk about Jim Brown sleeping <laughs> inside the Oval Office while he was sitting there. I want to talk about Jim Brown's <laughs> running running back game in the yeah, '60s. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool. There we go. Will Smith is playing Aladdin. That's now that's gonna be dope. That little uh, that was teaser that shit was they put out. Yo, the Fire. things that get more excited yeah. never <laughs> seem to Aladdin? amaze me. No yeah. You're not excited about Aladdin? <laughs> Will Smith playing the genie? He is yeah. all over the place. He's Will Smith. Play, he's playing the genie in Aladdin. Right. I know more. How do you not like that? Like, I, yeah, come yeah. on, man. You After Robin that. Williams, if there's one person that could play the genie, Will Smith. Will Smith. Absolutely. All right. You not rolling? I'm 40 years old. Like, I'm. Why do I care? <laughs> Cause you're, we were like, you're so mature. You're above Aladdin. Word. Fuck out of here. Cause we were like, um, should I be watching Aladdin? Twelve at 40? when Aladdin came. Sure. Out. Nothing wrong with that. Y'all are going to the movies to see Will Smith play Aladdin. Probably catch yeah. it on a fire stick. Yeah. For sure. Okay. I'm, I'm different. <laughs> you not? <laughs> no, this gonna make you go. <laughs> you gotta take Lex. You gotta take Lex. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Comes out one. But it, no, it comes out. They ain't even one yet. Yeah, but it comes out. Here we go. Next year. Next summer, I think. No, I don't want my kid in the fake fake movies. Fake movies. Yeah. What's the real? You can movies? only watch documentaries. What's the, what's the difference between fake movies and real movies? It's a time to learn. <laughs> His young mind doesn't need to be impressionable with those images. Yo, did y'all hear the mm. Honcho album? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hear the Honcho album. Track three. Did you like it? Yeah, I like it. What What do you guys want to talk about next? <laughs> <laughs> what's on the What's on the docket? There's really nothing left. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm looking no, at this. No, we were just saying we wanted to talk about something, though. Joe, wanted, oh, you wanted to get back into your Durex. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, you, you did say you weren't done with the you Durex. You said you weren't no done. No one should ever get back into a Durex. <laughs> if I thought I could throw the right jab quick. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, my you, quick one is the left. Yo, that's what you yeah, said. You was like, yo, I can't, you was like, yeah. I'm coming yeah. right back to the Durex. Yeah, so okay. go, go right back to the Durex. No, I'm on. Okay. We're I finna- mean, it, it was lifestyles that really put your dick in a chokehold. It wasn't really the directions. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's a great conversation. <laughs> what type of condoms? Yo, you, you know, I, I definitely have Dur- I have Durex higher than lifestyle on my list, one hundred percent. I do too. No, lifestyles at the yeah. bottom yeah, of the list for me. So. That's so. why I didn't get why I was being left out the room. <laughs> well, the NYC <laughs> subway condoms come with an STD in them. I think. <laughs> and them shits broke crazy. Yo, Wait, a what condom? The NYC. They the used NYC to give them out for free, free in the Oh, bars. they was trying to kill y'all. Yo, yeah, but you would sure. get like 50 of them because they just had them in a little dispenser. You needed, to, you needed to put all 50 yeah, on for it to be effective. They break so quick that you had to just go through them. <laughs> you need to put 50 of them shits on. Yo. They had the little subway colors on them. <laughs> I, hate <laughs> it to crazy. Keep, I hate to keep going back to this. <laughs> the honcho album? And, <laughs> no, would y'all shut the fuck up about this Hot Joe album? No, no, yes, no. I'm talking about the '90s doc, the the episode where. Uh, oh no, this was in the '80s. The '80s doc when, when AIDS broke out in the '80s. Oh, talk about a panic. Yeah, you don't say. But wait, people I'm didn't all, understand it. They ain't know how you. But catch I'm, it. I'm I'm only laughing. It certainly is not funny. But I'm laughing because. Niggas had no idea what the fuck was going on. Not for real. Like, not, much, didn't care either. Mm-hmm. But they didn't care until some famous nigga got it. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, whoa, shit, yeah. what's going on? Right. No, I can imagine that would be nuts that you're always fucking and everything's fine. And then just one day your dick is burning and everyone else is burning. Shit, not burning. This is beyond burning. Well, no, I'm just saying STDs in general, how they didn't exist yeah, and then they existed. Well, no. Like, that's like alarming. Like, the burning <laughs> dick has been around for a while. Pause. Kids have been getting chlamydia Could, since, sh- like... Should have had a Durex. <laughs> should have had a Durex. <laughs> There's an ad somewhere here for Durex. I'm just letting y'all know that now. For sure. All right, now that's all I had. 
But the AIDS came around and fucked the game up. That's, you could die from that. You couldn't die from no. The AIDS. <laughs> the AIDS. <laughs> it was the AIDS. You couldn't die from that. They shit. was calling that shit cancer at first. Yeah, they a were. New, yeah. A new form of cancer has been released. Yeah. Right. And it was like, no, uh, it wasn't cancer, it was the flu. I think they was like it was they a called new it gay cancer for it was a, did I, they they yeah. were calling it cancer yeah. oh shit I thought it was like they was calling it some yeah like they thought it was reserved stuff. just for the gays because it was almost uh, only homosexuals and, and, yeah. and, and until the crackheads came out yeah the shooters drug users yeah, yeah. then it was like oh mm-hmm. bigger <laughs> problem on our hands here yeah that's crazy I, I don't know I was born into a world of AIDS I cannot I wait I to, only know AIDS I can't were wait you born to watch into the seventies so you don't remember the internet like come, like before the internet. It wasn't popular. Like I knew, no, we didn't have it. Like, yeah, but you didn't. Do you don't remember your first time going on the internet? Really? Of course I do. Do you? Yeah. Like, do you remember? Like, I remember when my mom got a Gateway ninety eight. Okay. And And you had to dial up, and it had that fucking annoying noise. I remember. Yeah, remember the day that we had the internet. Okay. In the eighties, Doc, and I didn't know this because duh, I wasn't outside then. But in the eighties, Doc, (laughs) they they were talking about. when VCRs first came out mm. and how sh- how shit was going crazy. But what I didn't know was that there was a... When the VCR was able to record television, mm-hmm. there was a lawsuit. Yeah. See, I didn't, I didn't know any of that. Absolutely. And the lawsuit was saying copyright infringement. Y'all yeah. can't take our shit. A similar thing. So, I, I brought... It's, that's what I'm saying. I brought this up with music before too. A similar thing happened when they introduced digital recording, like CD burning and all that shit. They used to try to tax CD burners, so all the manufacturers, the CD burners, would have to pay into basically publishing, so that we would all be eating off every sale of a digital recording device. It's a great it's fucking lossless. idea. <laughs> they fucked it up. I can't and wait. Here we are. I can't wait to go watch that '70s shit. I got to see what was going. What on. was the band that killed Napster? Metallica. Yeah, man, they was ahead of their time. <laughs> Why did everyone give them shit? <laughs> they was right. Yeah, they were right. Napster? They were Dr- right. Dre no, it, no, it was, Metallica, it was Metallica was like, yo, fuck Napster and fuck all of this. It You're was, stealing yeah, my it music. Was, it was Dre and, and, oh, and Metallica. Oh, they both were right. <laughs> 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 Napster was kind of right, too. Napster yeah, was fire. Right. They were right. Not for nothing. Yeah, they were Napster right. Napster was yeah, super Napster fire. was, well, I mean, it took two hours to download a three-minute song. Oh, shit. No, you know, I was a lime water guy back 56K. then. 56K. Kaza. Yeah, that 56K. Was it Kaza? Kaza? Whatever. Kaza. That was Yo, nothing fucked up your day more than like... Remember when the Bill Clinton, the Bill Clinton speech on LimeWire? <laughs> no, fuck that. When you had all of the songs and you were ready to like download them. So then, you know, it just said like two hours. Right. Start doing shit, doing shit. You come back to the computer, oh, yeah, everything yeah. stopped. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be like, what the fuck? Someone like, called on the call waiting oh, shit. Oh my Like, God. dog, <laughs> I just wanted to listen to H to the Izzo. Yeah, like, what the fuck? my whole shit up. Me, Those are the great days, man. Let me grab my phone and make sure we're not missing anything because I'm getting the fuck out of de- out of here. Uh, the Jimmy Butler shit. Oh, the Jimmy Butler shit. Come on, Maul. Give us the scoop. We've been broke the story. Yeah, Jimmy, That's kind of but, a fact. Yeah, but, but, Jimmy went to the gym, grabbed some niggas, tore them up, talked yeah, some I, shit. But I, I like what KG said. And he was like, I don't know if Jimmy has that clout to be t- demanding trades, talking crazy like that. Like, And I'm with KG on that. Like, I think Jimmy Butler is... A really good player, but he hasn't accomplished. He's just, he's second best player in that team. At, yeah, at, it's like you haven't accomplished to be walking in your organization talking like that, and it's like, though I get it. If you're not happy, you're not happy. Right. I understand that part. Right. But he walking around like he the franchise, like the player, and it's no. like. No, Fame, he's, walk, just, he's walking. You're a good around, piece on this team. He's right. walking around like a guy that wants to be traded. Uh, and it's still a part of a team who is actively sabotaging trade partners. I don't, the, but the, I don't know if they're, they're sabotaging it. I think I, I think what's happening is I think Pat, there's a Pat Riley quote out about it that came out today. Yeah, but I think more more importantly though, I think that teams are just teams like Jimmy Butler, but I don't think that they're looking at Jimmy like he's a franchise changing player. Well, it's because he'd be 30 years old. 30, 31. Whatever, he whatever, turns 30 this September. Whatever the reason uh, is, though, Joe. Next month or something. Whatever the reason is. He's I'm just saying. He's a great saying, two-way player, though. No, he is. I'm yeah. not. He's a, he's a very, very good player. Yeah. But I'm just saying teams are not jumping out to him like a Kawhi Leonard. Even Kawhi. Kawhi's like, a lot younger and a lot better. Coming off of injury, though. Yeah, but even even with him, there was questions about, like, damn, this is how you did your, your team? like only No, but only because, only because it was the Spurs and it was Greg Popovich. That's true. 
That's that's what people were kind of like. Damn, nobody ever left Popovich like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, damn, you don't want to play under Pop. Right. I'm but, not. I'm not giving a 30, 31 year old shooting guard 140 million dollars on my rebuilding team. I'm just not doing it. This is what I'm saying. So I don't. You know, I don't know, man. But I I don't, I don't think he'll be with that team you know, for the next two weeks. He'll, he'll be gone for sure. Anything we forgetting here? I don't think so. And if we are. Pray for Lonzo Ball. He was called a deadbeat after 48 hours as a father. Well, yeah, he should have done more for those 48 hours. Yeah. <laughs> was it there? Yeah, he didn't, he didn't show up. She's didn't calling give, it early. Didn't give her the emotional support <laughs> she, she needed. Yeah, she see the signs. Yeah, it's a pattern. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you just going to sell out on men like that, guys? She see the signs, No, man. he sold out on her. <laughs> right. <laughs> Be there for your queen. Yeah. Listen, man, I'm going to go listen to the Quavo album. Holla at y'all. You should check it out. Track three. <laughs> That's the one? <laughs> That's my shit. It's called Hunch. <laughs> That's what you about to request at the hookah spot? Had to queen all of my treat treat. All I gotta right, go man. listen again. Uh, okay. <laughs> the, queen. the queen was on his treat treat. Okay. All right. Bid yeah. the people do, man. <laughs> go do your bid. One was. <laughs> 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 One. <laughs> 